Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, everybody. It is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha's here. How hey, you doing, Samantha? Hey, I'm here. Woo-woo. Uh, Ross McCoy is here. Yeah. How's it going, Ross? Yes. Um... Real quick, we've got a live... Oh, he's, he's just jumping right in. Quick, oh, quick. Yeah, hit it! Do it! We've got a live podcast coming up May 28th at the Hurricane Party. Um, so if you already have tickets to the Hurricane Party, then all you need to do is buy the upgrade. It's at TomandDan.com. Um, but uh, basically, if you want to go to the podcast, you do need tickets for the Hurricane Party. All the information is on the front of our website. Um, and uh, the podcast, we're doing an hour-long podcast from 12 to 1 uh with some special guests yeah. and uh in their uh the west end like performance uh room yeah, yeah it's gonna be really really cool you know i've i haven't been in there since they've done the the little renovation deal so I'm oh ex- it's nice i'm excited i'm excited to be in there and uh so it's I, really cool do not lean up against the tupac picture it is made of glitter okay oh, yeah. i will not <laughs> glitter tupac good to know Good to know. Um, so uh, see, we haven't done a live podcast in a while. It's been, oh, uh, it's going to be rusty. Yeah, 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 be, yeah. When was the last time? <laughs> uh, last time at West End. So what, two, three years ago? They, oh, yeah. That was the hur- hurricane party of 2019. 2019? Yeah, right before yeah. everything got shut down. Like right before. Yeah. like No, the, well, that was in June. Uh, so right as things were getting shut down. No, no, no. They, yeah, they got shut down in 2020, oh. March. March yeah. 2020. I have no concept. I don't even know why I answer these things. You know, when the thing happened. Because yeah. it was like, I was supposed to go to uh, Atlanta in January 2020. In December 2019, I got sick. And I kept going to the doctor. And I was like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? And then, it I don't know, fucking two weeks of tests. They were like, we don't know. It's some weird virus in your stomach. <laughs> and then, oh, and then did they like, have like corona symptoms the minute they came out with that they they gave me like some medicine that helped a little bit and, then, and like two days later i got better and i just stopped fucking with it and then like a week later corona was a thing yeah, yeah. it for sure was already <laughs> a thing. everywhere oh, yeah. Yeah. and then no one knew because the test you know it was, had to have been yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. just a bug let it run its course yeah, yeah. 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 i just no like one. it that i i literally got a diagnosis of some weird virus that we don't know about yeah, yeah, right yeah, now yeah. and then corona came out a week later there's a lot of people with those similar yeah. stories and it's funny because you saw it on the news it's like oh one guy got into uh like california with corona so you thought like it, it like uh it like adam and eve it all spread from one but it was yeah. like nah most likely it, it was there. all in Just our like in the stand. Together. Some guy got out of the facility. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, went yeah. and grabbed his family and panicked and crashed in a gas station and then got Ralph and all those guys sick. Exactly. Yeah. That's what happened. Probably all everywhere at that time anyway. Um, speaking of disease. It definitely was bat meat, though. We are 100%. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've bat never meat. varied from bat meat. Fuck a wet market. So what are, what are your guys' experience with? Hey, t- can't fuck a dry market. Am I right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> By the way, a wet market Grass sound the market. gross. Yeah. <laughs> gross. Yeah. Well, you buy. Where do I buy my? Where do I buy my slimy meat? You buy it at the wet market. Well, where do I buy yeah. my uh, beef jerky at the dry market? You idiot. Should I wear my good shoes to the wet market? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound gross, right? So, yeah. what's your guys' experience with tetanus? Um, like how? Wow, have you, you're the coolest dude in the room. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm like, have you had any friends or family? Like get tetanus or say like tetanus. Dick. Wait a minute, um, is this what's been going on with your throat? No, you no, get tetanus? I, well, I'm you get tetanus throat. 
So, um, survey and we would get jagged up by like a rusty bar reference all the time. And the joke would always be, you got tennis shot. And nobody ever did. Oh, oh, nobody I'm, ever did. Ross, I'm glad you're here for mm-hmm. this. Okay. Because I, I want your opinion. Do you have tetanus? That's contagious, dude. <laughs> the what? Um, no, I don't know anything ah! about it. You guys should never yeah. trust anything that I say. <laughs> Plus, the only time I ever thought about tetanus that. is when my mom and dad were like, you know, you've had your all your, you know, vaccines or if you're a Rogers family member, your inoculations <laughs> or what are you immunized or what did yeah, he, yeah. what were what term did immunized? he use? So, immunized. Um I was on my roof uh like <laughs> Why? four days ago blowing leaves because oh I have God, uh, yeah. uh this oh, leaf. Was there, problem. A, was there a woman <laughs> sunbathing in her backyard? Because that's <laughs> hey, what happened hey, to me two hey. weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Hey, hey. I didn't even re- I had headphones in, so I didn't realize it. My husband's like, What are you showing off for the neighbors? And I'm like, What are you talking about? And the guy behind us was blowing leaves off. Yeah. Oh, no, it was just blowing one spot. <laughs> 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 Set up a chair up there. You know how hard it is to hide your dick behind a <laughs> leaf blower? A leaf blower. Dude, Dude, some guy came down my goddamn dead end street the other day. My wife's in the front yard, tending the garden. He did a slow look on the way in and a slower one on the way out. And on the way out, I was like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what <laughs> was he looking at? My wife's ass. Oh, yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Over working the fucking tomatoes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's working working the tomatoes. naked in the tomatoes? Hold on, she's like that thing that people put in the gardens. <laughs> of like, oh, yeah. Of, <laughs> the of cut literally. Out. Yeah. <laughs> she was literally doing that, man. That's hilarious. There was a cowboy the smoking. Art. There was a cowboy <laughs> smoking right next to her. <laughs> Holding the lamp post. So anyway, <laughs> I'm blowing leaves off my roof because I'm. Not, not, does anybody do that? As a I, recent, apparently, as no. a recent gutter owner, I'm, I'm I'm only a gutter owner for like the last six months or so. Okay. Every fucking two or three weeks, you got to get those fucking leaves off the roof, th- or they're clogged. I thought Rick from uh, from our client told you not to do that because you're yes. you're damaging the integrity of your brand new roof, you idiot. He mm. did, but there's no other way. The only you other just way- leave them up there. Who cares? It's no. the top of your house. Who looks at the top of your house? No, they're in the gutters, and then it, you got to f- get those. Those little things that go over uh, the gutters. I know. I gotta Stop get being things. a cheapskate. Uh, those things <laughs> get over- covered too, yes. and then the mush leaks into your gutters, <laughs> and then they fill up fucking anyway. <laughs> There's no it. getting around cleaning your roof. All I heard was when mush got back to <laughs> wet market. <laughs> Ross knows. And then they show that on, like, how you're, I guess, supposed to do it is take a six foot ladder, like an A frame ladder, and stand up there, and every one foot, yeah. like, put That's one hand. That's my dad had me do yeah. it into a Walmart bag. Yep. One yeah. handful of leaf at a time. That's, That's too much. That's insane. Dude, that Fuck. is how my, that <laughs> yeah. is how my father. That's how we used to do it, too. Daniel Reams Dennis, that is how my father would make me clean all of the gutters on his ginormously long house. Or hose. What the hose? hose. I'm not the gonna hose get the hose the to clean no, my gutter. I waited too long, and the oh, leaves have uh, turned into dude. soil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's too uh, deep. It, it to already decomposed. You got a yeah, yeah. whole compact compost anyway, heap up there. I've been did f- you do the third step, which my fucking wife did the other weekend, which is all those little patches where they decomposed and made it like a little bit brown on your tiles. She got out there with a fucking toothbrush. And no, like no, no, the, no. She, like, wow. she brushed the patches clean, dude. No, no, no. And I, I was against it. I was like, you're going to brush the fucking grip <laughs> off. And she was like, no, I'm going to clean it. That's it an looks advanced great. Move. It does look great. <laughs> wow. It, it's, uh, I don't, I like, you know, it is a new roof, so there are stains I have like, blown out of there. I was uh, like, the sun will bleach it away, babe. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. like, no. Anyway, so I'm up there cursing, blowing leaves off the roof. I blow them onto the ground. How do you even notice they're up there? You don't notice anything. Well, because my wife yelled at yeah, me. Yeah, mm-hmm. I knew it. She, the, 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 I've been telling this story for years. It was, uh, people are tired of hearing it. Never learn your lesson. It just, they are overflowing into my patio again. Yeah. And then Crystal had to the take. The gutters are? Yeah. Oh, this, so you, I, well, no, you got that fixed because you got that new, like, scaffolding deal, right? No, no, no. no and then you put in the French drains. Yeah, I did that, but uh, that doesn't. That's only if it, the water flows down the pipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. When the leaves back up, it fills up the gutters, and then the water just rolls right over the leaves, and you, it's the same as having a roof and no gutters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then, and then it's a waterfall, yep, yep. and then my wife has to get out there in a bra and panties. Hey, no. uh, uh, it's this whole thing where yeah. we have to. And then I do down. the slow in, <laughs> and I do the slow out, just and, like. And then she has to c- climb up on a ladder, and then un- take the clog out or whatever. And yeah, she's yeah. screaming that I'm going to kill myself. Uh, the, you, know, <laughs> okay. you know, and then uh, anyway, so I'm up there blowing the leaves off. 
So I blow all the leaves out of the gutters and blowing like uh, bugs and whatever. You're just blowing everything. the leaves from the gutters back on the roof. Yeah, no, well, and then blowing <laughs> the leaves from the roof back into the gutters. I've done this. And so I've got this little pool shed that uh, I actually yeah. stole from. I say stole because I was abandoning the house in Deltona to foreclose on it, and I just started <laughs> taking everything that I could that wasn't bolted down. And then one was the pool shed, and Your I put shed it, wasn't bolted down. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I, he's, I, I, no he's not known for his boltable yeah, yeah. shed. Anytime they ask me to put like some hurricane safe, like sec- secured, yeah. like wire or stick it to the guy, I'd never yeah. do that. God forbid those <laughs> IKEA <laughs> anchors for just like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. a TV stand. Yeah. The uh, earthquake anchors of the thing or babies don't. How did you get that to your home? Did you take it apart? Or no, did, I took it or apart. Or did you <laughs> put it <laughs> in the back of your truck? Yeah, I took it apart. It was the worst thing I ever did. Uh, anyway. So, uh, apparently, uh, like, and so I blew a bunch of leaves on the t- roof of that, and then I was blowing the leaves off of that, right? Into your neighbor's yard? <laughs> no, 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 into my yard, oh, but, um... Mostly. Who's pa- gonna rake all these leaves? Well, that's my next, then I get the on the boys ground. will do it. No, they these don't do it. hands nothing. are gonna fall <laughs> off. Uh-huh. So, uh, I, from, I can only, uh, like, figure out that I'm, some roofing nail must have been in like some slat on top of that pool shed, right? From when I got my house uh, redone. Yeah, yeah. And then it must have stuck in there and been like, lodged in there because, you know, they went around with the metal detectors and put out tarps to make sure there was no roofing yeah, nail. Yeah, well, you haven't had a problem until now. But I blew the, <laughs> like, from blowing the leaves I mean, out of the that. the evidence is here that uh, you did something. Yes, yeah, you yeah. disturbed the force yeah, yeah, yeah. of because nails it, or something. Because yeah. it wasn't, it just didn't appear on the same floor that I walk across every anyway so or I, um, maybe Dan's right and you shouldn't be tromping around on that <laughs> roof up there and you uh, kicked a bunch of nails loose how you caught him so he does, he does stomp yeah, he cannot, yeah, yeah, yeah. He cannot he walk, walk like every Spanish woman that was at my physical therapy <laughs> this morning they have these people in my physical therapy Heavy that can't footed. walk and they they slappy walk it's like fling <laughs> fling <laughs> fling yeah. fling they just fling their feet down yeah yeah it's painful he shook the whole air T&D when we were working on it yeah, together yeah, walking yeah, back oh, and man, forth yeah. I was like what the hell even when he walks around As here, I t- I'm like, can you stop? I can't read my monitor. I have a disability. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I have flat foot disability. Were you up on the roof in those uh, flip flops? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah those yeah, are yeah, ocean yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> steel toe. Anyway, speaking of flip flops, then I got down trying to blow the leaves off, and uh, I'm blowing in this corner area near the pool shed, and I step backwards, and I feel. The nail go in through oh, the bottom yeah. of my sandal, yeah. through my foot. Yeah, and you know, like you feel the puncture. It's like it, it, it pushes like. And then it breaks you through. You can feel it pop. Yeah. You can feel it pop. It's like when you have a dull knife and you're trying to cut a tomato. And yeah. then I'm like, ah! And I go to kick my sandal off. But you and, can't. And it's stuck yeah. and nailed oh to the God. bottom of my so foot. So it does that move where it just comes off your toes and then it just swings <laughs> <Yeah>. down. <laughs> bloom, 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 and then the blood are flowing. And then so I'm like, ah! And then I pull it up and then I stepped on... <laughs> The rustiest roofing nail you can imagine, right? Uh, and so at first, it won an award. I think <laughs> I, I I started thinking <laughs> maybe it didn't puncture the thick oh callus a part of my feet. You felt so, it though. I love yeah. that his first thought is well, maybe I didn't I'm, go far enough. Maybe my superpowers have yeah. protected me once again. <laughs> right. Why are you? I have thick feet. <laughs> You've been training your front kicks in your roundhouses <laughs> so frequently. You know why wouldn't you have those pads? Well, it's just because I wear sandals all the time and I walk barefoot, so I. Have so you thought that this had prepared you for roofing? Yeah, 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 makes yeah. sense. You thought a big toe thong <laughs> tan was going to stop a nail? Yeah. And so, uh, but then I squeezed it a little bit and blood c- coming out. So I know <laughs> that it, I was like, all right, it punctured my foot, this yeah. nail. So then I, I sit there and I'm like, I remember the old, like, you step on a rusty nail. You go to Ohio. You have to yeah. go to get a Break tetanus shot. Right. 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 Yes. And, and that was the whole thing. But it, it was a long time. Like, more people talked about it. Like, I feel like in the 90s than yeah. they do now, right? <laughs> when it was, was like two time? things that people used to talk yeah. about in the 90s were tetanus yeah. and rabies. Remember when rabies <laughs> yeah, was the yeah, thing? Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, you, yeah. gotta get, you got bit by a dog. Like, no, it was or just a little. You see a raccoon during the day, they got rabies. Yeah. 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 Or, like, or like, I had a friend's uh, little dog bite me. It didn't even break the skin, really. And they're like, you got to get a rabies shot. And I'm like, why? I just. And then it was like, 
like you have to catch the animal that bit you yeah, and cut chop its head off. And freeze its head. You have to bring. Do you know how many times the my doctor doctor dad did that to dog? My dad. <laughs> we had for uh, one summer, we had like nine dogs' heads in our freezer. I was getting bit by everything because I love animals. I love dogs. Yeah, yeah. It was all cut. The Four pit bulls I got bitten by. My dad ain't going to go, excuse me, I got to chop your dog's head <laughs> off here. Pardon me. Do you bring it to the doctor with you? No, in you, a chop bag in a cooler? you chop it off yourself. Had to get a special yeah. freezer, Jason. <laughs> Just for the heads. We got it at Sears, but we did have a freezer. So, uh, anyway, I'm <laughs> saying- You must uh, have been my neighbor. First, I have no idea the timeline of, like, because all I remember is people saying, oh, you, you if you step on a rusty nail, you have to get a tetanus shot. But then I started thinking, I was like, well, I never heard anything <laughs> after that, like, within three to five days or oh, four okay. to five hours. Okay, or, like, you're, there's saying. only a wind. Like, I don't remember. It's almost like your overheard, half-remembered medical <laughs> advice is incomplete. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, so but go on it. So anyway, so then I uh, start thinking. I'm like, all right, what do I do here? Because I'm I'm too late. Like, well, the first thing you do is finish. <laughs> well, those you're leads. never gonna tell your wife, right? No, no, yeah. because she is gonna immediately worst case scenario. Like, oh, you gotta go. Like, it's gonna uh, you know get infected. You're gonna die. Well, she's probably gonna right. make sure yeah. that the boys know where that nail is. Did you? Did, or did you just throw it back into the yard? I <laughs> 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 yeah, kicked it into the grass. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I put it yeah. spike down. Spike oh, down. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're anyway, not an idiot. So uh, I was like, can't tell the wife because she's immediately going to tell me, oh, you have to go to the goddamn emergency room or whatever. Like the, oh. the, the, uh, you and know, you can't the tell me because I'm your uh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm no, also your saying, work wife and I'm yeah. going to say the exact same thing Kristen's yeah, yeah, going to yeah, say. Yeah, By yeah. the way, and I am a crow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to say, like, I have tetanus right now. <laughs> 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 oh, and, you're going to tell me the story. My foot's going to start hurting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then you're gonna go get a tetanus shot. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. So then, uh, um, then I'm like, all right. Well, now I just have uh, someone I can call for advice or the internet, right? Uh, so I like I'm, but I know the 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 problem with the internet is I've started to realize like anytime I go to the internet for advice, it's extremes of both sides worst case scenarios and it's one size fits all advice mm -hmm. that i feel like is way too conservative like you uh, need some bespoke advice well for know, instance like legit like anytime you're like i have some chest pain <laughs> like immediately like, go to the hospital immediately uh -oh. <laughs> like, and you just got like, tetanus bro no but it's like well it could be heartburn or something like you don't know all the details and i can't write all the details of what kind of chest pain it is and how old i am and all the stuff in the goddamn search bar i just start search chest pain and they say go to the hospital immediately and i'm like well that's too you like it's too careful yeah. right and you don't need to go to the Super hospital broad. for every time you have a chest pain or, or that's what i'm thinking about the the rusty nail and then, I'll, but I know I haven't gotten a tetanus shot and since I can't even remember, right? But like, how many do you need? Like again, I don't know. you're supposed to get a booster like every ten years or something, right? Really? So, yeah. so and man, I better get a booster. Well, you know, I, like so. See? Then, <laughs> speaking of the booster, uh, every time I go to a Publix in my Publix in Castleberry, for whatever They'll reason, ask you, right? well, no, there is a giant sign where you guys have the most diseases. In Castleberry. <laughs> yeah. A lot they of got, tetanus. Yeah, yeah. I they got know. all the they got all the shots at Castleberry because that place is just. Yeah. I I don't know if they have this at all Publixes, but there's a giant, and I'm like by giant I mean two foot tall. No, we're like, clean here, man. In a plastic one of those stands that you put the paper in, whatever. Um, like in like advertisement for uh tetanus vaccine, and then it says like get it here, right? Yeah. And I've seen it for Wait, months oh, now. Boy, tetanus vaccine, which I always look at. Next, you're gonna tell me I gotta <laughs> put a mask on my foot. <laughs> and when I see like for months, I've been looking at it and wondering. That's weird that they're advertising a tetanus vaccine, right? Like. It, you would think like maybe Corona or flu, like it, tetanus is a weird. I see where you go. Advertisement, <laughs> you know, it's just They're weird, right? Nails out of plants. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I always think. You heard about this yeah. one? Yeah, Kim nails. <laughs> I've heard about these Kim nails, but th that's real shit. But that's the like that made me realize that Publix does it because for I didn't want to go to the damn hospital or the walk-in clinic because then you know, sit down there for like I don't want to waste right. hours for something that may or may not need. Based on like you know, is how serious is it? Like, is tetanus? Do you what one hundred percent get it if you step on a rusty nail? Does anybody no. here What's know the what percentage? Does anybody here uh, honestly know? But I mean, I, I would imagine Ross it's would called know. Lockjaw. Lock yeah, it what makes is your, it? Makes your tendons tighten up, and the thing that kills you is you, you eventually can't move. 
your jaw muscles, so you starve to death. You just can't get anything. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> wait a minute, that's good for about three months. <laughs> you get well, that they, can, they can just give me permanent. a liquid IV, right? <laughs> it's permanent though. So uh, once, once perm- that happens, you're just locked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Like There's no done. reversing it. And then you're pried open. And the thing is, like, it's not. It's not every piece of rusty metal has tetanus on it. It's just that the tetanus virus or bacteria, whatever causes tetanus, can live. It's like an anaerobic bacteria. I want to say it can live in the same environment that rust also lives in. Okay. So yeah. and I think it, maybe it's also like animal born. So like if you know a deer brushed against this is where I'm going way off. It's fine. No, no, I'm enjoying all of it. A deer brushes up against the barbed wire fence and it's got tetanus on its fur or whatever, and then you get scraped by that and it gets into your blood through that way. That's how you get that tetanus. You get scraped by some rusty metal that has tetanus on it. Gotcha. Okay. How's so, your uh, neck and jaw feeling? Well, okay. my neck, uh, <laughs> my jaw. So I'll so or even like your elbows, your your ankle bones. Everything will start to tighten up. He's real stiff, and he has been. I think you had. Pre tetanus. Mm-hmm. So I, I text the it's wizard. Trouble, trouble articulating thoughts. <laughs> well, uh, first, I should have texted Ross and asked him because uh, what what would you uh, say, Ross, if I said I stepped on this rusty nail? I'll show you uh, the picture of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh man, standard and, square, uh, square square head, head yeah. roofing yeah, 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 nail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And I gotta say, roofing nail, the most aggressive nail, just based on looks to me. Yeah. I'll, I'll show right up there uh, with a railroad spike. Probably uh, got any like a half inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less. It, it it stuck into my foot enough to draw blood. So that's where I was like, well, if it didn't draw blood, I would have just ignored it. Uh, or if there was any way for me to determine how likely it was that I got tetanus, you know, if you yeah. told me 1%, I mm-hmm. would have not You didn't not clean your sandals. You just bled all over them, and you're still wearing them, right? Oh, yeah, same thing. I'll okay. show you the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. That's what I thought. Uh, never even put a Band-Aid on it. Because, my, again, uh, like a, a couple drops of blood came out, and then it, it healed. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, his elephant skin will fuse back together, yeah. you know? So uh, what would you have said, Ross, if I'd text you and said, I stepped in this nail. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother me at home. And should I get a tetanus shot? Uh, what a, I said, you're on a good you're squeezing the blood out. It's a good start. Oh. Get that bad blood out. Let you know some good blood. Get oh, in there. I like that. And like then I'll uh, came out. Why doctor. suck it out like uh, the joke of a snake bite? <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> if you got a nail through your penis. Oh. Would she suck your feet to begin with? Or you no, guys no, 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 no. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's rule that out. Let's see which one of the kids will do it for candy. That's a, that's a backup. <laughs> But no, you got one of those Tom little, Hildo. you got that little yellow neosporin tube later on. You got yeah. kids, right? You got that little yeah, le- yeah. yellow. Put that fucking tube right up against the hole and <laughs> jam, jam it right in there. Squirt it in there. Squirt it right in the hole. I used to get a lot of ingrown toenails from soccer, you know, and that's what I would do. I'd peel the skin of that ingrown toe open and I'd stick the tip of neosporin on it and I'd inject it with neosporin the next day, all healed. But, and so, this goes without saying, but like wash it first, and then the neosporin, and then uh, and then a bandage. You lost it. Wash. Keep it clean, so that because like secondary infection, you're way more likely to get a secondary infection than tetanus. Than tetanus, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially bottom of your foot, open shoot as you roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> we <laughs> we didn't know. Clean we know. It. Never even uh, didn't, clean didn't even clean my foot for weeks after. Yeah, well, we know the bottom. You know anyway. why we know that because the cracks on your feet are <laughs> black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. they've been black for years. Ta- they're tattooed now. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I I text my buddy the wizard because he's my least cautious friend. Cut your phone uh, off. And he told me that uh, apparently he was an environmental scientist that was out in the field a lot, kind of like a surveyor or whatever. Yeah. And they take those the guy we'd worry about busting out smoking weed. Yeah, yeah. Which this is <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, you should go. And because he said it and not my wife, I was like, fuck, well, I, I'll go to Publix because of the uh, yeah. the marketing campaign. Make it They're running on yourself. Yeah, it's working. I don't want to go wait in some uh, waiting room for a long ass time at the damn walk in, uh, you know. Yeah, I don't whatever. blame you. I just did that today and got nothing. So, Does a vaccine work after the fact? I don't know. Well, that, okay. Yeah, so, so you're, you're, Ross, you're thinking exactly like me. <laughs> yeah. So, so See, then. We're more alike than we are different, all in this together. So, because they. Mar- like an AIDS vaccine. It's not going <laughs> to yeah, yeah, do yeah. Magic Johnson any good. Well, that's, he's, that's, that's he's got I it. Tell you about the corona. Like, 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 people get corona and then they'll go and be like, give me the vaccine. And they're like, it doesn't yeah. work like that. Like, like that. You know, so that that's how I know about a vaccine, how vaccine. So they are marketing technus vaccine. So I call the pharmacy 
to ask the lady that works there, like, is this the same tetanus shot or tetanus shot that you're supposed to get when people say, when you step on a rusty nail, get a tetanus right. shot? Or is this the tetanus vaccine yeah. that you have to get before you step like, on a rusty nail? Is this aftercare <laughs> or is this a preventative yeah, right. me- Be- measure? Because yeah. you're marketing as a vaccine, and what I know about vaccines is you have to get it before you get the tetanus or <laughs> whatever. I don't really know. fucked that word up the last couple of years. <laughs> Real bad. Real bad. Yeah. So, and people don't know, and then they don't want to know. I stumped this lady. <laughs> 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 Apparently, like no one's ever asked this before in the history of Publix. And uh, also, the lady sounded... Now, I don't know what the qualifications are for working at the pharmacy. If, you're, if they're a farm tech, they don't necessarily have to know anything, really. Yeah. So it's just it's like, like a vet tech. You just have to learn, like, yeah. SIG code, and that's kind of yeah, it. Yeah, like, so you're kind of like a paid intern. intern. That's what I used the to register. do. The register. You work at the register, right? Or like You can do other stuff, but you don't You don't have to know any medical knowledge. Yeah. If you can find that little you got to get the pharmacist. If you can find that little pale green jacket at Goodwill, you're good to go. Yes. So I asked Farm her, techs are not, yeah, yeah. they don't know. <laughs> yeah. They did not go to medical school but, <laughs> or pharmacy school. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, it was or apparent. farming at all. I, <laughs> I guarantee Daniel knows more about medicine and We're pretty, uh, good. The, like, We're pretty anything good. Anything medical than this lady did because she didn't know. She was like, uh, didn't, didn't, she's like, it's the tetanus vaccine. It starts with a T <laughs> and then the vial starts with a T and that's good. And, and then I asked her the question. I was like, yeah, but like now that I've stepped on a nail, <laughs> can I get this? Is it the same uh, as the tetanus shot that people did need she to get? Do that? Uh, let me ask my boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's like, oh, but you hold. She put me in hold, and yeah. she's like, she comes back, and she's like, the pharmacist said, if you haven't gotten a tetanus shot in the last t- uh, ten, ten years, years, they recommend a tetanus booster. vaccine booster. Oh, yes. you're fine. <laughs> but yes. I'm like, yeah, but did you ask? What if I already stepped on the nail? <laughs> <laughs> right. And then she's like, that's what she said. <laughs> and then I'm like. All right. Well, I guess yeah. then I'll just go here and get it. It's got to be better than nothing. And that's what I did. <laughs> like I just went there. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to get the booster if you've already stepped on the nail. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, so, wow. Uh, oh, look, Dr. <laughs> Sam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, thank I you, mean, Dr. I just Sam. use Google. Well, he can't use Google. what happens when you step on a rusty nail. <laughs> it, it's a, but what, then it says get the tetanus shot. No, it's a oh, booster. Oh, it says a vaccine booster. It says booster. Well, but then, it, but it also says if you already got the tetanus shot at one time, which I have no recollection of ever. Well, you're getting, probably a kid yeah. or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Probably, yeah. But it's the badge they give us. Yeah. But it's just it's hard guess. for me to no believe idea. that that's still in my bloodstream. What about yeah? yeah what am I going to call my mom? She's going to remember like the. the uh, you know what? Knows. I, you know, I have a memory of that when I was really, really little. I remember getting this one test, and tell me if you guys remember this. I remember going to the doctor, and they would take this little white uh, piece of plastic, and on the opposite side of it. There were a bunch of different needles and they would take almost like an allergy test, but it was like one particular test and they'd stick it on your arm and push it in and pull it out. And then they would say, okay, keep an eye on that and watch to see if some of these uh, little pricks bubble up. If they bubble up, then you're going to need to come back. Yeah. I remember something like yeah, that. Allergy I remember, test, right? I, I thought it was an allergy I, test. Yeah, I, yeah. I, it's it was like an allergy test, but I want to say it w- it was like in that original like you're a kid and you're getting all your mm-hmm. shots. But I remember mm-hmm. getting that, and I remember I was fucking terrified that the thing was going to bubble up. That's how far this hypochondria <laughs> shit is. It, like it's yeah, not oh, yeah, something yeah. you're born just, with it. Yes, Lady Gaga. absolutely born with it, Lady Gaga. Because <laughs> I can remember looking at that and thinking, as a child, if that bubbles up. You're as good as fucking dead. <laughs> but seriously, like there was somebody narrating that shit in my brain at like, I don't know, three, four, five. I yeah. remember that. My son Max has a little bit of that that oh, I noticed. Sorry. Or just a little bit They're of- They're saying that's tuberculosis test. That, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, it was oh. tuberculosis. By yeah. the way, Tom, just because you got this booster shot doesn't mean you won't develop tetanus. Yes! It's what? Just, it's just oh. a lesser chance, so keep an eye out on any s- new symptoms, but you have literally every ailment, so I don't know yeah. how you're going to tell the difference. He was stiff and screaming this morning. <laughs> and, and yeah. Extreme anger and stiffness is tetanus. Yeah, yeah, I am bad with keeping an eye out. <laughs> 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 don't In- ask me to so watch anything. Look for or- increased yeah. soreness, <laughs> warmth and redness, swelling, discharge from the wound, fever or chills, tightness in the jaw, stick... A uh, stick. Stick legs. Stiffness in oh. neck, difficulty swallowing, just keep an eye out there. How about bright yellow eyeballs? You It makes your tendons all curl up. You Body spasms. Like, you can't, yeah. can't, yeah. can't, yeah. <laughs> can't straighten your fingers. But you already have that. I know. So how are we supposed to know? His yeah. hands are already it's, gnarled. It's got to be insanely rare because who have you ever known that's gotten... I've a, never known so, a person. Yeah, yeah. Look up famous people with tetanus. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> There's got to be I've never heard of anybody like getting tetanus or like... 
or rabies for that matter. It's an old world disease, right? Yeah, yeah, You'd yeah. like to think that a lot of these are it's gone. Bullshit. It's like when somebody comes in and it's like, ah, my mom, you know, the plague's still around. She got it on her foot. And I'm like, ew, what the <laughs> fuck were you doing? Yeah, yeah. How See, did that but, happen? But like nobody famous, but like probably a there, million there guys. There are famous the people, but they're like way old. You know what I mean? Like in the old 1920s, man, they man. died from tetanus. Like Clay they Eastwood died. got it on his farm or something, <laughs> right. but not like Fred movie. Thompson. <laughs> Fred Thompson. Wait, who's a, who's a silent film cowboy? <laughs> that's Brad Thompson, the silent film cowboy. Yeah, that's you. That's you. <laughs> that is you, Dirty Well, he's sex. the loud boy cowboy. <laughs> George Hogg. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Fred Thompson and George Hogg? <laughs> Died of tetanus. If you go to the medium page right now, you'll see a picture of me when I was at my fattest, and I was George Hogg. <laughs> I was so fucking fat. My God, I was fat. Go clown that photo. Right, Andrew and I laughed in bed, so I was like, you didn't tell me shit. I told my wife, I go, you didn't tell me nothing. I'm going to post my meme of the month after the show, so in case you guys, it makes yes. you guys mad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> anyway, um, what do you guys want to talk about? Uh, Ross, have you had any arguments with anybody lately? Uh, oh, wait, wait, we do have a song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if, uh, okay. New song for Ross, if you do Yeah, have... I got Actually, do you have one? Because I got a... What do, what are we calling them? Ross Rants? Conf- what did we say last time? Confrontations of the Week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, let's try, let's try this and see how this works. Here. Ross! Ross! Good. <laughs> That's awesome. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, we, we didn't actually have had a confrontation, but uh, man, you don't even need one now. The mm-hmm. last couple of weeks, so there's just like a minor traffic incident. But uh, <laughs> I can, here's an oldie. This oh. is, this <laughs> yeah, good. I love classics. And this, uh, you know, it's it's a couple of weeks old, but it still rings true today. Uh, so uh, in line grocery store, uh, the line looked short because there's one lady ahead of me. All the other lines are pretty backed up. And there's one guy that's all checked out, except for, so I, I get in line, I get all my shit. Uh, not, I think I'm still in the basket at this point. Hmm. The guy is like verbally accosting the cashier about the price of a cucumber. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> at least he didn't super glue his hand to the <laughs> Starbucks. And like at the point I become, I've spent so much time in the line that I started to become aware of it. He's sent the bag boy to go check the price. Oh, I hate and they have to explain to this man, this grown ass man who has shopping at the grocery store money, that it's the price per pound and not the price per cucumber or whatever ah. it was. Mm. And so this guy's so embarrassed that he can't just let that go. So he starts like accosting the cashier about the price of cucumbers and how the price of everything is rising. And he's putting it on her. Oh. He's putting it on her. <laughs> And when he got to the point where, like, and by the way, lady right behind him is waiting. I'm behind this lady waiting. Like, there's nothing stopping us all from getting our groceries rung up except for this fucking prick and his cucumber. (laughs) Uh And so he goes, he goes, this poor girl, this poor little girl just trying to ring up groceries for fucking gas money or whatever, Mm. maybe pay her insurance and impress (laughs) your mom and dad. He goes, when you get to be my age, you'll appreciate what the cost of a cucumber is. I'm like, the fuck? When she's hopefully she's not an asshole. <laughs> That's when I had to break in, and I was like, "Sir, sir, can you just move on with your grace?" And he, so he turned to me, and he's like, "What do you? What did? What is it to you?" And I was like, "We're all waiting. You're holding everybody <laughs> yeah. up. The whole line is waiting yeah. because you." And lady in the middle is like, just she. she oh, the, she's like me. Uh, yeah, she yeah. wants. She's trying to shrink into herself like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you get too big nothing. and it makes people uncomfortable. She yeah. She wants nothing to do with it. And the I, the guy and I have like a good, I don't know, ten seconds of back and forth. <laughs> and he, I, he finally starts to fucking pay for his shit. <laughs> and at that point, I was over it, so I just went and self checked out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I like that move. And left the embarrassed. Leave the mess. Did absolutely left embarrassed, but uh, I felt it was partial win because me and the lady in front of me got out at the same time. 
So I would. Oh, I, were you I did able sa- to? I did uh, save time by going to self checkout. But were you able to look at her and her look at you, and you guys have an exchange? Because I like that too. When you're. Learning. Oh no no no! We absolutely were avoiding eye contact. Like okay, crazy. Gotcha. It was it was uncomfortable for both of us. And but I kind of it kind of it was weird because I didn't know. At the end of the day, I was left wondering: Did the cashier want that or not? Like, was it would the cashier rather rather just she's going to get accosted by this asshole no matter what? It's not. It's not. It didn't stop anything. Would she just rather another guy not get involved at all? Mm. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. That because you know I don't know. Ross, how do you feel about the self checkout uh, at the grocery store? Because I feel like someone like you would prefer per, like prefer doing self checkout. I do. I prefer it, except I'm always buying a bottle of champagne, and that, that's a huge that, pain in the ass. That's what I said. Uh, yeah, the, it's like whenever you got it, there should be. Th- we said this last week. In fact, this was my idea: is that if you know you're going to do it, I think Tom doubled down and said that there should be a a way to register online, like clear, like you do at an airport. Where you're already ready to go to swipe your ID or something, you know? Like, they know you're a frequent champagne man. Here's another, here's another ID-related one for you guys. Uh, I'm trying to check out at the fucking Walmart grocery store a couple of months ago. I got my bottle of champagne, ring it up. I'm at self-checkout. Because that's all they fucking have. Yeah. You can't. There's not a cashier there's that works. There's maybe so one cashier. Maybe. maybe. And they're scheduled Customer for service, two maybe. hours a week. Yeah, yeah. Like, when nobody's there. And so, it's all self-checkout at Walmart. So, I bring up my fucking champagne. The guy comes over. He checks my ID. And I present my ID. And he's like, great. And he turns to my wife. And he goes, let me see yours. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And yeah. I was like, I was like, hold on. this is, I'm going to drink this whole thing, homie. It's all for me. <laughs> it's no big deal. And he goes, nope, she's with you. I need to see hers, yeah. too. And she's like, yeah. well, I left mine at home. My husband can't buy this wine. Now. And he's like, no. And I'm like, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's a I'm thing. I'm like, this is my wine. I'm going to drink it. And he's like, no. Everybody in your party has to have a valid. I was like, hey, listen. What if you had kids with you? I was like, I come through here six days a week with my fucking kids right. and buy yeah. a bottle of champagne. You, you, you've never questioned me before about yeah. coming through That's with nuts. my 12-year-old. Like, I mean, what if I'm taking off and get <laughs> drunk? Maybe what? you should step in. That's the thing. Yeah, I've had that happen to me and Andrea. And much like uh, I hope you did, what I'll do is I'll go, uh, Andrea, you can step outside. And she'll step outside. And then I'll walk back to the beginning Walk back in with my champagne, boop, and ring it up, and like just me and my party now. God <laughs> damn! Why are they hassling you so much about ID? <laughs> it seems bizarre because this one was really weird because like I did, I had a fucking valid ID. I'm yeah. a goddamn grown up. I can. Yeah. You she, look like you're grown up too, which is you know what I'm saying. Not is, if you look like a young, young face. My wife's got your a young wife, face. Your yeah. wife looks younger than yes. But at the point we're saying she's not drinking, it doesn't fucking matter anyway. This is all yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me out of your goddamn hole. Yeah, yeah. But it's like you know I they do that to Andrea sometimes. And you know where they do it? They do it at like the bigger stores. Like I've done before we, uh, man, like I'm trying to think of like Walmart. It's happening. I've at. gotten Walmart and Publix. So. I've gotten Total Wine. I think it's ha- like the, your larger Costco, maybe something like that. But yeah, they, they'll they card Andrea too. And I, I have the same reaction. I'm like, <laughs> she doesn't drink at all. Yeah, you know, there's no reason. Yeah, they're slowing down on carding me, which is a bad sign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like they, they used to card me at all times. In fact, they carded me. They carded me more when we were all wearing masks, uh, which was yeah. ridiculous because I was like, "Can you tell this is me?" Like, is r- stupid. Anyway, wait until <clears> your <throat> jaw clenches up and you can't fucking move your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like the mask though. <laughs> back to self checkout. So, okay, let me ask you, which how- was a really boring movie. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask Back you, to self checkout too wasn't bad though. It was decent porn. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how bad this is, and I'm asking all of you guys because uh, you all have different levels of morality, right? Um, I feel like uh, <laughs> you know maybe I don't know which on the spectrum. Daniel's maybe highest. Uh, I don't I, even know what we would depend know, on what we're talking about. Yeah, I, so, I don't know. Anyway. You're, you're being real okay. vague. Yeah. So across the board, yeah, I'm the best. I've been <laughs> going to the same Lowe's for a long time as the Lowe's Loyal. near, all right. near near my house it was just closest if, yeah. if it was home depot i would go there okay. it doesn't matter you're a depot man i over lows it doesn't i'm not brand loyal to anything okay. <laughs> like wow. I just not go, even our brand i just go to whatever's closest anyway <laughs> whoever has the best hot dogs so i've spent them a lot of money at this place and I'll, i preface the story by it saying that i've put some money into this business um so this giant corporation yeah okay? yeah, yeah so With I, super high employee turnover yeah yeah so and the most disinterested employees <laughs> <in the first laughs> yeah, <year>. yeah, exactly <laughs> so 
Crystal, uh, she starts these projects and they're super advantageous. And yeah. oh, wait, I know that guy. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, and then I have to help her finish them at ten o'clock at night. Wait a minute, right. that's not what she would say. She <laughs> would say the exact opposite. She would say that you start the project and she has to finish it. Now I don't know who to believe in this relationship. I know. <laughs> well, both we crazy about, people. Are we talking about like the kids' homework or what, no. what kind of projects? There was like a wooden chandelier yeah, at yeah, one yeah, point. Oh, we never got an update yeah. on the wooden oh, yeah. chandelier. It's still not, there. It's not currently hanging. And what? What? No, it's there. It's what happened to the butcher block table? No, that got uh, uh, abandoned. Don't, don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. <laughs> it got abandoned. <laughs> like in, in, the, in the garage. In the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to drive for it. Up, and it couldn't find its way home. <laughs> All right, little uh, buddy. This is going to hurt you more than it hurts me. Uh, <laughs> don't turn around. You had to take a treat and throw it into the woods. and then. <laughs> so she got this idea in her head that uh, she we need a trindle bed in, trindle. in, <laughs> in Max's room because we have some- Why? Uh, he doesn't sleep in it. What's well, a not trindle bed? For for guests, uh, because a trundle bed, trundle. If this guy's oh. trundle, <laughs> it's, a, it's a trundle <laughs> bed. Oh, trundle. Not a trundle, a trundle bed, right? I think it's I don't trundle. know what the hell is called. It's, it's not a, a trundle. A trundle is a tentacle that hangs out of your butthole. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, the trundle of shit from uh, Foot Fizz Way. <laughs> That's a, your hair turns into trundles. A trundle. I, uh, trundle. Tendrils? Tr- Are you trundle. looking at the word tendrils? Tr- tr- I think it's trundle. It's trundle. Is it trundle? T R U N D L E. I don't know the fucking name. I had always heard trundle bed, and maybe I mispronounced it r- wrong. But you I like trundle, trundle it up under the other bed, right? Yeah, Isn't I guess that, 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 I have no idea trundle. what words mean. To it, you know. Uh, so a trundle bed. She wants to build this because when we stay, she wants to build it. Yeah, because when we were staying at the wizard's house, we had to sleep in his daughter's bed. It was uncomfortable. Just buy one. Well, okay. This I've been yelling at my wife about uh, her Amazon purchasing, and we got to slow oh, down. Oh, so now instead of purchasing furniture, you guys are like going to build <laughs> furniture, Jesus like Christ. build actual furniture. And then she said she looked it up on Etsy or whatever. Etsy. She found. Oh my god. She found a IKEA hack where you could build your own. Uh, trundle bed, <laughs> trundles with for how much in material? Well, it costs twice as much as buying one. If you bolt two IKEA like bed frame or like um, box frames, or like the, by the, the way, they're both out of stock at IKEA. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything's for gone. Sure. You can't yeah. get shit at IKEA. Well, she yeah. had, she got it. She got the two. Oh, she got man. them trundle. She got the two bed frame or the box frames that go under. The, and she ordered the mattress online. It okay. was like a, a double or whatever. And then she's like, "Yeah, you just have to bolt these two things." So yeah. Yeah, we're really cutting down on the on- online ordering so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, so I get home <laughs> uh, like, uh, on Wednesday or whatever. Now and then you were here Wednesday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's oh, it's, well, Your still, lies are coming undone. No, yeah, it was Wednesday. Really unraveling. No, I get home because I'm still, I, I went to the Sanford, I'm just doing shit. Sanford again. Yeah, uh, he's yeah, cheating yeah, on his yeah, wife. Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> he's always over there. I know. His mistress he's, at the Airbnb. Yeah, he's over the there licking them trundles. Anyway, so uh, I, she, I get home and she's like, "Oh, can, like, can you help me? Uh, uh, help bo- me bolt my trundles." <laughs> she's like, "You know, bolt this." And then <laughs> we had to use our goddamn uh, hurricane wood that we use. <laughs> Who has hurricane? <laughs> Nobody's like, "For I'll be dipping into my hurricane wood." If storm season kicks up, we don't have that uh, ready to blow out all our goddamn windows. Because <laughs> uh, plywood is like fifty <laughs> bucks a sheet. And we need yeah. two. You know, you guys can never move because oh, you are quintessential Castleberry. I mean, it is so, it is so perfect. Oh, oh like especially since <laughs> I'm cutting the wood at 10:30 at night <laughs> with a loud <laughs> asshole. Uh, Nothing stops yeah. my hey, candles. Yeah. You guys, you're the bad one. Uh, last <laughs> smoking because I'm using the wrong yeah. goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using the thick blade for some yeah. other. Not for plywood. I'm using like the goddamn <laughs> the one stone blade or whatever. It's supposed to cut tile. <laughs> so it's just smoking. Anyway, it is loud it's like uh, a smooth blade with a diamond yeah, edge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even better is when there's like a category four off the coast of Cocoa Beach and you're like bolting your trundle bed <laughs> to the exactly. window. Why? Uh, why let's don't talk you talk to Mike from Mike's weather page? We <laughs> need a. Gr- you need to put this stuff in the group chat so we can talk you and your wife <laughs> out of it and be like, this is the dumbest shit we've ever heard. Because it all happens so fast. <laughs> yes, she's like. I have this you thing. can get a trundle bed on Amazon for two hundred dollars. Well, we, we spent more than that. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. Uh, because she wants to not. Well, half of it is her not wanting to waste 
Max's bed that we already have. Like she is insane. But what's uh-huh. the what's the trundle for other people to sleep for? Because for in, guests in her mind, she's like, we need a better guest set up. Uh, okay, so that they don't. How to often s- do you have guests over? They, we never have guests. No, over. The well, wizard, they're coming this the weekend. They're comes. coming today. Actually, you guys go there and they come there pretty often. She, That's a thing. We're, she was doing this. It's also weird that you guys just don't rent a fucking hotel or an Airbnb. No, we all we all I st- never stay with anybody at anybody's house. Well, we, that's because you and I are weirdos because the Miami people, well, they so, all live with each other when they visit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's also like you you always are like, don't want to get in people's way or no. be a bother to uh, somebody. Except like, for living in their home. That's so I, weird. I got, <laughs> I got Fernando, today, got Fernando, Porno Joe's coming, Turkey Leg, They're and the Wizard. Oh, yeah, house? everybody, and their kids. Yeah. So, so that's my, my that's wife. That's the way they do that's it. Chaos. She wants more beds. Uh, we were just putting more. Anyway. Back to the self checkout. Mm-hmm. So I, she's like, "Go to Lowe's. I need these bolts, and I need these wood screws, and this glue, and some fucking whatever oh else." Like God. she gives me a list. Uh, I need and a it, wood rasp, and then or I need a Dremel. She also sent for me, the accents. She's like, "I need two pieces of thin ass plywood, uh, whatever." Yep. So I go there. I need some bloodwood accents, and I'm gonna need some. So I, I go there. I don't bother with the cart or anything. And I go and I get, I start looking uh, f- at the bolts first, right? Okay. So I find the bolts that I need. I need six bolts and six screws and six washers, right? Okay. So I, Frankenstein. Yeah. Six I, six. <laughs> yeah Sounds I get them, great. I get them all. And then I'm looking for the little... First, there's no employees. Little brown right? paper like, no. Yeah. Employees Everyone, don't ex- everyone's hiring. Em- yeah, employees don't exist. So no, they are all up front having a conversation with each other. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What was a team meeting? <laughs> they call it a team meeting. So you mean the brown paper bag? I'm looking for a little brown envelope yeah. that you put the screws in, right? So I'm like, where is that shit? And I, I think the oh, it's in <laughs> Tools Ace Hardware where they give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking, and oh, there's, I love there's, there's they're the best. There's no little brown bag anywhere that I can see, right? So I have nothing. I'm holding these bolts, and I start dropping them because my oh, hands okay. are numb. <laughs> and <laughs> so oh, I shouldn't laugh at that. I'm like, I'm like, God damn. So then I'm like, fuck it. I just, I put them in my back oh. pocket. So then I go to the, the, uh, wood section and then I find the wood first. I can't find it. I call my wife. I'm FaceTiming her like a fucking dumb old man. I, you know, I see guys oh do that God. all the time. And I vowed after seeing <laughs> other guys do that, that I will never do that. Even if I need the help. And she's yelling, you're walking too it. fast. I won't do it. <laughs> you know, so, uh, oh then my God. So you're then, making me sick. I, yeah, yeah. I'm get, I have vertigo now. I find if I hold the pillow up. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I find the wood. I put it in the uh, you know, the one the cart. It's not the flatbed cart, but it's a cart that you put the wood in uh, standing up on okay, the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the slats, so yeah. you put the slat cart. Yeah, the slat cart. And that big weird hump in the middle for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, and mm-hmm. and then for the s- suspension or the mm-hmm. wheel or something. So I put it in the slack cart. I remember the bolts, and I'm like, well, I can't put the bolts on the sl- the the cart. It's just gonna rumble around and fall off. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing to. There's no little. Yeah, there's nothing to hold it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's no. happening. Yep, Corona. There it is. <laughs> so I have this. So uh, I put the bolts on my mile. Take a sip. Coughed up a bunch of rust. Uh, <laughs> oh no, yeah. it's the tetanus coming. You're looking really <laughs> stiff. <today>. My junkie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I I prefer self checkout, right? Uh, so I I go to self checkout and then I I'm up there and then the lady uh they start. Do you have any bolts? <laughs> no, no, she, she never. Do you have any nuts or washers? <laughs> She uh, she scans the plywood. She's They're like, always like really nice Latin women. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm the like, all right, Depot. I swipe my credit card. Or whatever, and then I start walking out. I get not even to the door. And then I realize, fuck, the bolts are yeah, in yeah, my yeah. pocket, right? Your booty bolts. And then I was faced with a decision. Because I also, I didn't take, like, I have no, rec- like, no idea what size I have no are. of where I am. Like, I started, I started thinking, like, well, sh- if I go and be like, oh, I need to pay for these bolts. There's a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, you don't know they're, like, an F5. I got them yeah, in a drawer, yeah. F5. And, and you're supposed to write two X yeah, yeah. F5. Yeah, I know how to. Ma'am, I almost stole these bolts, but I can't remember <laughs> what bolts <laughs> they are. So she's well, going to have to keep them because you feel sorry for them. So I know what's going to happen. She's going to have to pull out the laminated thing and start trying to figure out what size yeah. bolts they Why are. Why don't you and get I'm, these? Why don't you get these? And then Chris is going to be fucking texting me like, where are you? <laughs> we have to get this done. It's 10 30. <laughs> and then I'm like, so I, I just stole them. <laughs> I just stole them. Good for you. Is it fine? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think you thought we were gonna. I think you thought no. we were gonna get mad at you, but I think we're just I, so tired of you doing this. I'm that a we're forty okay year with old it. man. I have, I have the money. I could easily 
easily pay for the bolts. They're like thirty five cents. I I, think I stole them. What you're I shoplifted from Lowe's. What you're seeing Castleberry Lowe's. I shoplifted. But what you're seeing better is better be happy I, buses in here. You have the goddamn <laughs> cops knocking on your door. I think the three of us this just don't understand why you guys continue to do this because this story does not sound like people that want to make their life easier. No. Like building your own furniture is hard. That's why. And you guys have no fucking time. No, I understand. Especially That's why you. it's 10 30 at night. That's why we're doing it in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are your kids uh, now, doing? To her defense, it came out pretty good. Like, uh, right. like, if you saw it, you would think someone bought it. All right. Uh, but you, you but also. You could have just bought it. But you also <laughs> would have been astounded by the money we spent on doing it instead oh of just my buying God. it. Saved a little bit with that. Sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Not to just gloss past that. Right. It, it's just, it's not that that's what I would have done, Tom, because uh. I would have paid for the bolts. That's. Uh. 100% what I would have done in that situation. Come back, whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe go put the wood away or whatever, make it a little easier. But you, I'm um, 100% not leaving with those bolts or right. that oh, okay. form. Right. It's just that I'm not surprised you did that. Oh, okay. I'm not at all startled. Okay. That yeah, guy yeah, is yeah. not gotcha. at all surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just based on my personality yeah. and who I am. Yeah, of course yeah, you stole yeah, yeah, the bolts. Have yeah, you yeah, tested yeah. it out yeah, and yeah, had yeah. people actually lay in it, the bed, to make sure it's functional? You, oh. you have to give it like a certain amount of hours before <laughs> to fluff up his head. What? Uh, they're like, you oh, can't. the mattress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it came in a roll. And they're like, don't touch it for 48 hours or you'll ruin it forever. Every good mattress has <laughs> <says that. laughs> <Adam. laughs> This is my life. No. You should have just got uh, an air mattress and call it a day. I, <laughs> or tell your friends to get a fucking hotel. Uh, by the way, they better compliment me. When they're uh, they're not going to I hope they walk in there like, oh, God, not a homemade trundle. <laughs> <laughs> and they're mad as fuck. Well. I hope they walk not. in and they're like, that's oh, yeah. a sick Trindle. <laughs> yeah, they call it the original name. <laughs> now, did you do the thing that I do, I think, 100% of the time when I get one of these fucking mattresses in the mail where I, I open it and it very clearly says how to open it safely. And I'm like, fuck that. And I just cut it and then it punches me in the face like a goddamn trick arrow or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. They're all coiled up like a spring and they yeah. have a very specific but way to open them. And if you don't do it, it'll just spring open and hit you like the goddamn snake in a can of nuts. But by, by the way, I did yell at my wife like she already did all this stuff and I like, stumbled upon it. Like I, I was like, like we, have, yes, we have a lot of trundles in here. <laughs> we have <laughs> ma a mattress sponsor. Mattress Greg, we could have bought a yeah. uh, mattress from Greg. Yeah. Or, you know, oh. He, oh. She knows him. He has... A, he, he put the Airbnb she knows beds in. I know. Dude, He's like, running a trundle special. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, free like, trundles. Get your free trundle. Greg does it. There's a number. We I have call a number. trundle Greg. I have his, <laughs> uh, his number. This is what he does. I, I don't know. I need his number. I need uh, to get one of those beds. The Maloof. You're going to get yeah, the Maloof. I, 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 I need to sleep sitting up. I got a coughing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sleep sitting up. All, right. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break. Uh, brand new music from the Black Keys. The name of the song is It Ain't Over. It's good. It's... Uh, it's a good little tune. Enjoy this. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time right after this. one 844 show at TomAndDan.com for email. Money and love ain't no sure thing. You live for the thrill, you die for a dream. And when it comes around... Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, let's do some news. All right, buddy. Let me get this. Make sure that's good. And action. Ross's piece of shit news. News brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go. Just call Mo. Mo is sponsoring everything. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. If you're sponsoring everything, you got to be good. I was uh, <laughs> I was just talking about his new TikToks where he has all the accidents on there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I probably get all of those wrong. It's like you, who was at fault? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, well, you, that's why I called you. You should follow Mo's social media because uh, he does a lot uh, and it's entertaining as yeah. Well it's uh, definitely not your average, uh, you know, attorney's social media account. Sitting on the can, follow Mo's Instagram. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah, I think he told me the other day. That on the shitter? 
That's an easy one. Um, Twitter. There you go. It's very easy. There was a BDM that got an accident and went through the whole thing, and uh, and Mo ended up getting him away like ten times more than he thought or something. There is an uh, yeah, I uh, yeah, I there's even an ad I think where he does where he talks with like one of his uh, clients, and yeah, it's like five to ten times amount uh, the amount that the uh, insurance First, company was going to offer him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, yeah. which is... Oh, they'll try to screw you. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's their job. We'll get Mo on your side. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so, what do we got, Ross? I don't know. If it's not on a billboard with your giant forehead, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> like you won the lottery? Or the- I love those. <laughs> if you're not pouring champagne in your eyes, are you a good yeah. lawyer? I, I love know. that. Yeah. Oh, man, that video is That's so That's my good. favorite video of all time. With a leopard print rash yeah. guard on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. So good. All right. We know uh, everybody's bouncing back from Corona, right? Uh, I don't know. I think I got it again or something because, good Lord, whatever's probably, in my just, chest. It's just tetanus. It's probably, oh. <laughs> Sam, you got to it before I could. <laughs> uh, in New York City, they're bouncing back. Also, the rats are bouncing back. We got yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were gone? We got a lot of rat news. Yes. Uh, apparently last year- Is this the uh, rat update? <laughs> this is we Did got, COVID wipe out the rats? We, we just got a bunch of rats. Uh, you know what? Think about it, Sam. People like- is, uh, I don't. You ever read that book about the rats in New York City? I forget what Mary Roach wrote it. The same lady that did one about dead people. But, I don't uh, think so. It's really good. But basically, the way rats work in New York City is there's all these fucking alleys. Everybody throws their food out in the Ooh, alleys, gotcha. and the rats just eat the food in the in the alleys. So you know, nobody going out to eat, nobody going out of their apartment. There was less food. There's gonna be less rats. They're bouncing back. Yeah. Uh, uh, through April of this year, seven thousand four hundred rat sightings reported to the city's three one one service. Uh, that's up six thousand one hundred and fifty during the same period last year. Wow, so. <laughs> who reports that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You call three one one if you see a rat. I saw a rat. <laughs> <laughs> and even still, it's up uh, about sixty percent from the first four months of twenty nineteen, the last year before COVID. So they're bouncing back hard. Yeah, man, a lot Dude, of uh, and, they, and, and uh, especially make, in New York City. Imagine the amount of rats it takes for them to call in. You know, like you know, you know. Well, seeing... haven't they made the they they talk about like I people that I know that are from New York will talk about like hey they always the have a story. Of, they're yeah. like or no, it's usually like hey, this one time man, I opened this door and we looked in the cellar and man, there was like there must have been like. 20,000, right? And it's like always some number that yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh, right. But maybe they're right. Like I, maybe well, it I is. Can tell you about f- giant sewer rats. Yeah. Like, I can tell you from experience, when there's a lot of rats, it is a startling amount of rats. <laughs> when they are allowed to just run free, you can get an amount of rats. Like a that, surprising amount. Like the floor is rats amount of rats. <laughs> yeah. it's not, it's I not, played that game oh. as a child. It's, it's not terrible. that hard to achieve. <laughs> so... You would think that through like a large poisoning event, they could probably wipe out, yes, a bunch. Yes. or maybe that would they, poison. Rats other are things. so smart; they go, they do things in waves. So, like if you see a rat, it's the first rat of the night, and that's the one that lays like going out and testing things. And you'll get the first three waves of rats with poison, and then a couple rats will eat those rats. Maybe those rats die, but there's twenty more rats at the house just waiting for the the guards to come back or whatever. They will never even encounter the poison if there's poison. So are they doing? Are they doing like? I'm. Mean, this is a serious question. Are they doing like mm-hmm. an actual um, gathering cycle of uh, what do you call that? Like scouting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or they go like, out. They foraging? bring back. There's rat cased where they bring food back to the nest and stuff. Yeah, they're they're complex. So it's almost like d- by mean, design, but... the first three that go out to forage might perish, but but their system is in place to find the food. Correct. They're the scouts. Interesting. They, they got scouts. Yep. So it's just a numbers game for the rats. They uh, have never-ending numbers, so they just overwhelm anything. It's yeah. like that video game you see they market to you on Facebook where the zombies are running and you build the machine guns. It's never the as rats. good. They <laughs> ne- you know, the videos, like, that they, many. the videos that they use to get you to buy those apps are never, it's never the game. <laughs> yeah, and most of, of them have not. some big titty lady in there. That's <laughs> yeah. why I clicked on it. And I'm like, I'll play this if you get to see the big titty lady. Yeah. And then I click on it and then the game is completely different. And I'm like, <laughs> What the yeah, fuck? You never get her up to level 50. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, no, never. And you're like, what is this? Yeah. It's all just clickbait or whatever. But rats do form a giant ball that will roll at you that you need to shoot the water <laughs> rat. That is true. <laughs> that will happen. So now, like, is it back to where the numbers were before? More. Or is more? 60% more, Tom. Oh, God, the rats damn. are back and they're at it. <laughs> uh, more rat news. I don't, did I tell you guys the story about the, the dollar store by me that was full of rats? No. no. Okay. Do I need to get a new song for that too? <laughs> no. That I didn't tell you guys this story. They shut down the dollar store by me, 
and uh, it was shut down for like a month. And they just put it, they put like a handwritten sign up in the window that said like dollar store shut down until further notice for cleaning maybe or something. Uh-huh. But you look in the window, nobody was cleaning that thing. Nobody ever cleaned that fucking dollar store in a million goddamn years. Yeah, it's like, a dollar <laughs> store. That carpet uh-huh. was crusted with the dirt of a million fucking scum feet. It's uh, so um, scum feet. <laughs> one day, Write that down. That's great. <laughs> one day on Orlando Reddit, somebody was like, "What's up with that dollar store on Michigan Street?" You know the scum feet one. And a bunch of people chimed in and were like, "I heard." it was infested with rats i heard a bunch of people were chiming and saying that and then one guy posted and said i heard that a bunch of people was, were shopping there one day and the ceiling collapsed and a flood of rats filled <laughs> oh, oh my god oh. rats fell out of the ceiling <laughs> <That's, that's, laughs> uh, you're already shopping at the dollar store <laughs> so you, you know things haven't been going that well <laughs> so and then you're like you're looking, and then you're like what is that <laughs> and then a uh, fucking avalanche of rats fall well, out it's like you lead in to get that what was it that we found out one time at the dollar store it was like steak right yeah. like dollar, and you yeah. Yeah. there and you're like wow it's come to this and you, <laughs> lead in and you grab a package of fillets and yeah. you're like not that bad and then it comes for you it just gets <laughs> it falls they out also of the have sky. fish sometimes i'm like fish at the dollar store yeah. but anyway that was the rumor for a long time in my neck of the woods and now we have a uh, breaking news story arkansas is suing family dollar uh they went to a distribute there was some sort of report uh somebody like called in a tip and they went to investigate. <laughs> oh my God, three one one. They went to inve- investigate this uh, distribution facility. I think in Little Rock, Arkansas. They found more than one thousand rodents inside. They found uh, live rodents, dead rodents in various states of disca- decay, rodent feces, dead birds, and bird droppings. God damn! And, uh, they- and one trundle bed. <laughs> Weird. And a lawsuit filed by the attorney general. Uh, they say. The misconduct by family dollar stores and Dollar Tree allowed them to maximize profits while causing Arkansas citizens to purchase hazardous, adulterated, and contaminated products. So they they knew their shit was full of rats. They just kept trucking it out to dollar stores and selling it to you fucking fools. You, every time you took your kid to the dollar store and said, here's $5 to go crazy, they were buying tainted fucking candy and toys. Well, to dollar store's defense. All right. Uh, it seems oh, like- Tom Van Attorney. Well, the, the dollar store defender. <laughs> <laughs> it's It doesn't seem like the CEO or COO of dollar store was like informed but uh, to this particular location franchise that uh, there's a rap problem and he's like don't say anything you know what I'm saying I would imagine they would say you have to, because it's a franchise right is uh, it family don't, dollar I, I don't think so I so don't like, know I think so this there, is a distribution facility Tom this oh, is like, like a warehouse sending, so this is a source oh, this okay. is sending oh, all the shit yeah. out gotcha. to yeah. all that the changes stores. things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. can't They're, defend that one yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah. it's also possible because like I hear all the stories about like uh, three people died in an Amazon warehouse and no one knew about it for a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, you, you read these stories about like it, like they're forced to die on the line packaging the boxes. I'm like, all right, well, if that's happening, rats at Dollar General totally <laughs> on brand. Like, it's okay. Yeah, I, I wonder, see it. Because you know the employees have been telling the, their bosses for years, like, there's rats everywhere. <laughs> like, yeah. you have to do something. Because sure. the employees... Well, tell them, you idiots. Get a broom and beat their heads in. Because <laughs> the employees are probably like, this job sucks uh well, the boys like, are rats. I, I hate this uh company and they probably have been complaining about the rats and then them not doing anything and you think like how hard well uh, ross you know like to very ex- difficult exterminate very difficult a rat infestation i mean it, it, it's not impossible like like there's only- burn pest control can get in there oh and- yeah Burn and them up. Get them done. Luke, the guy that did my- Get them done. You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that. I said, get him done. I didn't oh, say, get her done. We're going to play that game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that Joe does rats. rats. Does Joe do rats? Yeah, yeah. He, he does, does all the way to rats? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was before Joe when I had mine done. It was the guy, Luke, that helped me out. And uh-huh. um, his thing was exclusion. The first thing you do is like shut off all the ways they can get in. Mm. So like, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's that. You just keep them from getting in. And then you kill whatever's left inside the perimeter. You know, like in our house- we had the one that would come in, so we just we shut off all the holes, and then there was like one stuck in the attic. I think we put a trap out for that, and once we killed that, we were done. Yeah, like, I had them in my bungalow real but bad. But like in that situation, the only real way to get rid of them is shut off the food source. You got to like stop putting out dried Cheerios and letting the fucking rats eat it. You know, like it's oh well, the whole point, fact or the, or the warehouse is yeah, filled with dried Cheerios, one dollar steaks. And at <laughs> some point, somebody got lazy about like where they put the fucking Cheerios or the steaks or whatever, and the rats got in and they made a nest, and now they're eating it. You gotta you gotta cut that fucking food off, or they're gonna keep making rats. 
God, it but, makes me think of like kitchen nightmares, you know, where they go yeah. back there, they made some steaks the night before, they just put them on a plate and set them in the closet. Because I'm telling you, we had one night when Rat House, <laughs> Rat House is in full swing. I love that shit. I sat on the back porch and I fucking, I had a case of beer and I had my all my shit set up, all my guns, my BBs. And the goddamn the neighbor's palm tree, <laughs> we'd see him run back and forth in the vines. And I sat there and plinked rats for a case of beer. And my I made my wife count for a while. And at like 24, she's like, I'm not counting anymore. Wow. And that was, like, that was like six or eight beers in. And I finished the case of beer and just shot rats all night. And the, they I would shoot them. They'd fall to the ground. A bunch of rats would come up and eat that dead rat. <laughs> and then <laughs> more rats. Hell. That's like a video game. <laughs> more rats would just run back and forth in the vines. Ross invented an actual analog video game. <laughs> but I'm curious, too, like, is the reason expense why they didn't call it exterminator and get the rat problem fixed? Because, like, I understand, you yeah. know, when hoarder houses, like when they when the TV show finally comes in, and you're like, oh my god, dude, this, like it's. So I bad. like it when they yeah. when they have like they interview a firefighter that's not really on the team, and he's like, when I was in there, it took my breath away. <laughs> you know, <he's> like, <laughs> yeah, it yeah. just smelled like straight ammonia. But, and then oh, when the, I love that when the old crazy lady comes shaking out, you're like, <laughs> you gotta well, take away my stuffed animals. I, I I feel bad for her because I'm like, well, they're at, my friends. At this point, you let it get so bad that it's completely overwhelming. Like she could not do it herself. My children abandoned me, and this <laughs> is all I have. And the cost to hire a company would have been tens of thousands of dollars because there's so much poo poo everywhere, and like. It's so horrible. You know, I'm like, this lady can't afford it. She's is poor. That's right? the best part is that even though they clean those hardwood floors, at the end of the episode where they show you the after pictures, you can still see poo-poo. But like- A little bit of poo. Yeah. So say you call, like we need to uh, text Joe Byrne and ask like, what do you think it would cost for like- a, What do you think of trundle beds, uh, Joe? <laughs> but on a burn pest control to come into the Dollar General warehouse- oh, how much? And then like get rid of the rat problem. Like, is it- Twenty thousand dollars? Is it five grand? Is Ooh. it is it fifteen hundred bucks? It's, well, it's gonna be a lot. A, a distribution center is how many thousands of square foot? Because yeah. just going around my house and and plugging up all the holes, everything bigger than a quarter. They, Anything that's quarter a lot of work. size or bigger on mm -hmm. a fucking warehouse. Think of all the little areas, and you got to like, and it's not just like. <laughs> slapping a piece of duct tape on it. You got to like really, because they got sharp little teeth. They'll go through steel wire. You know, you really got to plug up these holes and then the matter of destroying all the ones inside. And then there. there's a whole So it could be tens of thousands. That's why they didn't for expense. Like I'm wondering, like, is it expense or is it pure laziness or they didn't give a fuck? Like uh, I'm wondering why. They I didn't would, if it. it was me, I would shut the fucker down and clear everything out of it and just let them die off. Give it like six, eight months and let all the rat problem just go the fuck away. So that's why they probably didn't want to do it because the, the they overwhelm. need that money. Yeah. yeah, the expense because you know I'm imagining some manager looking the other way because he's like ah fuck it they all have right like and again you know. I'm, I'm coming at this like a fucking idiot like I'm I'm saying the right way to do it the way they would do it would be to put about a bunch of poison. And like all the rats would just die inside the fucking warehouse, and so you'd just be loading your goddamn dollar store potato stick truck, you know, up and just you'd be smelling yeah. rats. It all didn't come in close oh contact because you know there's margins. Yeah. They're gonna have like rules, like, well, yeah. was it in the same room? Well, it was close. I mean, that's fine. But the yeah, rats, yeah. they just yeah. die wherever they're at. They don't do like that cool cat thing where they go find a spot outside in the yard. Yeah, die oh, away yeah, from, yeah, yeah. they'll die in the fucking wall and yeah, just yeah. stink for weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're also tough as shit. <laughs> yeah, Man, that one. I had yeah. one live for like fourteen days, and I chopped his head with a <laughs> with one of those fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, remember that that thing in your attic? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had one in my attic that the we didn't <laughs> nail the trap down. So when it it was one of those new, it's a plastic uh, trap. Claw. And you put the peanut butter on the top. It's called the claw. And when he went through it, it tried. You know, normally it severs their, I guess, carotid artery or whatever, and kills yeah. them. Or well, I don't even know if rats have that. I don't know with rat anatomy. But yeah. anyway, it chops its head off. And this thing got caught, but it didn't get him. And he's just laying there, and he fell behind my closet. And he lived for like two weeks. He's like banging his head against. I'll get you, motherfucker. He'd bang his head against there. Like, if I could get out of yeah, here, yeah, yeah. you fucking midget, I'm gonna <laughs> eat you. So he, you could feel it. Yeah. You could feel the anger, man. And then one day, it's quiet. <laughs> and that's when the our pest control. Eat. No, our oh. pest control guy said, "Well, now that it's quiet, I gotta get over there and get him out of there. It's gonna stink like shit." Yeah. <laughs> and it did. He got over there, and when he pulled him out, it was just his head and then a spine, because the other rats had crawled down in there and eaten him. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. It's nuts. Um, Ugh. what do you got next, Ross? All right, let's stay on animal news. Uh, you've heard the phrase "fox in the hen house." Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that means, though. Uh, I mean, you know, you got a hen house. Hmm. And you got like a fox in there. <laughs> fox gets him. him. He's eating them good. It's just going to eat them good, right? He's eating them good. 
so the Nash, uh, Smithsonian National Zoo in uh, D.C., they, they used to have a bunch of flamingos. Uh-huh. Uh, flox, a fox got in the flamingo habitat. <laughs> Out of 74 flamingos, what kind of damage do you think a fox can do oh, overnight? Foxes are it seems aren't like a foxes, flamingo's big as shit. Like, I know. But Fact aren't through that in. Isn't a fox like a low key killing machine? Like I think a fox is made for. I mean, yeah, pound yeah, for yeah. pound, I'm gonna say a fox is up there with ant on like I can fuck some shit up. You never hear anything really good about a fox other than they trick you into like getting on their head and as they're carrying you across the river, they eat you. <laughs> Gingerbread man. <laughs> Sam, probably just for you, you remember the fox god on the magicians. Pretty good yes, dude. Yes. Pretty good dude. Yeah. So, what does the fox say? Whatever that burned hot, 2014. Uh, yeah. I assume that a fox, just like kind of uh, an alligator or other like uh, predatory animals, like a only, fox is a dickhead dog. Will only go after prey. They're so cute though. Smaller. I put more of a cat. When you see more of a cat, like uh, most know. most predatory yeah. animals go after prey that's smaller than them, so it doesn't hurt them because that's their biggest fear is they they get injured. Out yeah. in the wild. Fox is clever. Yeah, yeah. And a fox is pretty small. That, yeah, that's what I think. Like, compared they're, to a flamingo. They're not like a wolf. No, you I, know think what I, mean? I think they're like this. I think, what is that? I think they're. It's they're like a big, big ass cat. I think it's bigger than we think. I've never even seen a uh, fox I've wild. only seen a fox wild one time, and it was like up north in the Carolinas. Okay, and don't forget down here in Florida, like you got the island effect. Even though we're a peninsula, animals get smaller on an island. So that's why we got like key deer and like tiny little. Tiny oh, animals, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, cool. I've seen those, those mule deer in Colorado, or big as like I was like, what the hell is that? Like, <laughs> dude, Pennsylvania, dude, five up- times the size of a goddamn uh, small Florida deer. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's oh, like yeah. a moose. I'm going. It killed a dozen flamingos. Mm-hmm. All right, what do you got? You know, Out I just 74. just for the sake of it, I just want to say he got them all, and he was rubbing his tummy. <laughs> 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 he just <laughs> rubbed seventy four flamingos. Yeah, I want to say he ate them all, and he's just laying back and rubbing his tummy, fat as fuck. <laughs> How long was he in the enclosure? I think he had all night. I don't think Ooh, they. I oh, think he had all, all night. night. Yeah. Lionel Richie dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> what did you say, Tom? Let's see. I said a dozen. Okay. Oh, actually, last check on Sunday, two thirty p.m. Everything was fine, and then uh, I guess Monday morning they found what was left. So he had from two thirty Sunday Oof. afternoon. Oh. That's a long time. That's okay. a lot of flamingo. But munching. a fox is small. So how many flamingos could he eat? I'm gonna go thirty. It's like it's kind of like that battle simulator. You can get on like one fox for seventy four. Oh, I love that one on Steam. That <laughs> thing's <laughs> awesome. This motherfucker got in there, took out twenty five American flamingos. Ah, I was closest. And a duck. No! Wow, oh, oh, that's oh. that extra points. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fattier point. meat. And you know what? You didn't need to do that. I feel like flamingos are fair fight, but that duck, he's defenseless. He's just like, <laughs> I'm a duck, and bam. Like, damn. You, you would think that the flamingos will be kick crazy. Yeah, and well. the beak, they got a long beak, yeah. man. Yeah. Way yeah. up high too. It's coming yeah. from way up yeah. on high. And like they could fly a lot. Well, flamingos they can, can fly. fly a lot. Yeah, right? but not well, these flamingos. Well, in captivity, yeah. but they could. You know, even like uh, my mother-in-law's parents, they got their wings clipped. But, but they fuck you up. But they could fly for a little bit and then fly to the ground. You know what I'm saying? They can yeah. maintain uh, like- uh, They're like Charles Barkley. Elevation. Like a little <laughs> bit of a sprint and then- you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm surprised they couldn't yeah. just get away. I I feel like we have all been conditioned to believe that flamingos are tougher we're giving them a lot of credit. Yeah, I see yeah. them at an animal kingdom. They are larger than we think, right? And I think we're all right. We'd like to think that these things are going to be stomping and beaking this fox, but nah, man. I think Dude, foxes are bigger than we think and more aggressive. I uh, Bart Merrick tells a story, Ross, you probably heard this, when he was a kid and he grew up in Sarasota. and uh, His best he, friend was a flamingo. No, I he, remember that story. He has a story about um, <laughs> a big-ass egret. Uh, that was by his house that uh, some tiny like or like a a, a kitten a, a little a little bigger than a kitten was like doing that thing where it was like stalking it you know and the egret was just sitting there by a lake or whatever and the kitten was like stalking it and it fucking turns all the kitten stabbed it like through its body with his egret beak right killed it and then ate it a fucking why egret. Like, why? Jesus Christ. Like, and, 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 like, and that's why I'm fucking Bart Merrick, motherfucker. <laughs> well, that's why he has that tattoo, no egrets. <laughs> but it, my point being that wild birds are fucking uh, tough motherfuckers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like an yeah. egret will stab a goddamn kitten. You would think that a flamingo a dinosaur, dude. can at least hold its own a little bit against a fox, but apparently not. Uh, yeah. I When we got our uh, little dog Shadow, when she was a little puppy, we took her down to the beach in Tampa where you can go off leash, you know, with your yeah, dog yeah, yeah. 
at uh, Shadow. Off leash only. Yeah. yeah. Don't give, okay. don't give him any okay. credit. Okay. <laughs> 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 so Shadow, she was chilling on the dog beach for a minute, and then there's a big sign that says, do not run down here if you're a dog. Shadow ran right past that fucking sign. Mm. Uh, there's a goddamn big pelican. Like, th- th- it leads up to the, kind of the dock, and right next to the dock, there's a pelican just chilling on the beach, and Shadow's like, oh, I'm gonna go get me a pelican. She ran up, came up on this pelican. Pelican started coming from a mile away, and just like waddled out into the water, and like Shadow like got right behind her, and the pelican's just steaming out there, and I'm like... You fucking idiot. This bird's luring you out to sea so it can just Smart. beak you to yeah. death in yeah. the goddamn water. Get on my territory. My <laughs> territory. Yeah. Yeah. It drowned it you. Yeah. Clear. It was clear yeah. as day. I was because I had to run and fucking drag her out of the goddamn water. I like water. that you're sitting Ooh. there waiting. You're like, he's a yeah. genius. <laughs> I was I'm about to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when uh, Fox... Murders 24 pel- uh, flamingos and one duck. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty damn good, right? <laughs> Is that better than you guys... I mean, you guys are obviously closer than than my. I uh, picked thirty, so I was but, five over. Yeah, did, is that more than you thought? Uh, would have thought it was more than I thought was possible for one fox to do. Maybe a group of foxes. What's a group? But he of, had a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. You know, and and then does he eat them? Yeah, at all. The real question or is, or does he kill them for fun? If uh, you're a fox, you've killed like, one flamingo. Either eat it and get the fuck yeah, out of yeah, there. Yeah. Why continue the spree? Isn't that the? Are, are you, that's the that's in him right like isn't the fox engineered to just like he sees those things and he's like no matter what i have to kill as many of these before they stop me that is my purpose on earth is that right maybe he just a, needs pink and did he start group storing of foxes them? is called a skulk a skull i know you were about to ask s-k-u-n-k L-K. L-K. Skulk. Skulk. skulk i like that just seem, it seemed weird that I mean it's like it's kind of like a cat or uh, like a dog will like you know bring you a bird that's killed or whatever like it kills shit for fun. So the cats do it right, right? right. Lizard, and, like yeah, they'll kill stuff and everything. Not, kill yeah, everything, and, and not really eat it, but just as entertainment for themselves. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Could be, yeah. Um, yeah that's, like, that's a crazy ass story. I'm, oh, I'm wondering what that cost. Probably a lot, right? I always feel really bad when these places have like, they're like, hey, we have the two final white rhinos. And then like, oh, sadly, one of them got a toothache and died. I'm like, oh, my God. I think flamingo, flamingos aren't like endangered at all, right? There's tons of them There's out there. There's probably a bunch of them, but it's yeah. got a sting. I remember like every like five years, some drunk guy goes and kicks a swan at Lake that. Eola. Right. Like, yeah, that's that. always a knock to our civic pride when that happens. Yeah, yeah. And flamingos seem fancier than they are just because of... Uh, how we use them in society yeah. as decoration or whatever. Like, you know, we like, look at this flamingo, uh, you know, serious, plastic statue. Uh, serious <laughs> flamingo uh, coloration question. I'm surprised that we haven't figured out a way to feed them something other than shrimp to change their color naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you Is that think, a thing? You would think that some zoo or like maybe not in America, but somewhere like yeah, Mexico. Yeah, yeah. Russian dude, zoo. Come on. Dude, they in fly Mex- donkeys. In Mexico, they were painting donkeys like zebras with yeah. spray paint. Yeah. And then saying like, hey, you want to take a picture next to a zebra? And it was obviously a donkey. They paint cockatoos. <laughs> yeah, 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 They yeah. like paint their cheeks to make them brighter. And <laughs> like chicks, like little. Yeah, they, 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 they dye, dye them. them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They do it with dogs, too. They spray paint dogs to you, their hair. So for sure, they'd feed flamingos like some blue shit. And See, then be you're, on the, blue. you're on the track with the with the painted donkey, Tom. Because if you did have a blue flamingo, it wouldn't be a fucking flamingo. Flamingos are pink. Everybody knows that. No, okay, so they'd be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> okay. I, I don't even know this for a fact, but I'm just gonna say it as a fact. There's 100 percent white flamingos out there. There's oh, yeah. flamingos in the world that don't eat that goddamn krill or whatever that turns yeah, to pink. For they're, sure, they're not flamingos though. That's just a big goddamn white bird flying by. <laughs> you know, like it's not until you see a pink flamingo standing on one leg that you're like. That's a flamingo. <laughs> the stereotype. You're conditioned to what a flamingo is. So, like, if you are going to be a place that has flamingos, you're going to make them pink because that's what the people are. Right. I mean, you feel that, too. Like, when you're at Animal Kingdom, yeah. and Sam will probably back this up, when you drive through- You see you that s- skulk of flamingos. But they're also not <laughs> always pink minute. because they're not always being fed shrimp. And then some dum-dum on the boat will be like, boo. Oh, Can really? You? Yeah, they'll okay. be like, oh, these ain't flamingos. Yep. Birds, are, birds aren't real. No, no. managing his expectations. That's a flamboyance of flamingos. <laughs> Uh, that's for real. <laughs> is yeah. Hmm. Skull, can you have a flamboyance in the morning? Flamingo as a pet? I've never seen that either. Like I don't just think so. I, mean, I know like there's a neighborhood within a block of me that has a shitload of peacocks. Peacock. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Peacock yeah. people and they're, they're loud. Shit as fuck. They're so loud. Oh, it's so illegal loud. to own them as a pet. 
flamingos. Oh, so oh who says? They are protected by the law. Yeah, but so what law? Like tigers and people own <laughs> shit like tigers. Yeah, you know, like tell me, I can I'm own a tiger, a but I can't own a flamingo. Yeah, that yeah. seems fucked up to me. Yeah, yeah. Just you tell me, I can go fight in war, but I can't yeah, exactly. <laughs> 18 right. years of age, I can get a gun and fight for this country, but I can't drink an ice cold burn. All right, next door. All go? right, we're staying with animal news. Uh, we got uh, a name of this guy up in Alaska, uh, this guy from St. Augustine, Florida, oh. uh, uh, in the Army, up in Alaska, doing a training mission on a base. Uh, training on base. Uh, think that, uh, I think I read they were looking, they were scouting for like a place to do some uh, training. And... Um, what they're describing, uh, they're saying that this guy, what he saw was a flash of brown mass. This guy did not even see it coming. Brown bear popped up out of the woods on the army base and just straight up ate this guy. And then oh my took God. Off. Ooh. Uh, That's terrifying, dude. Yeah. Bear bear attack, lion yeah. attack, those videos where you can hear the guy saying, leave him alone and let him eat me. That kind of shit. Fuck. I have fuck well, it all. What Staff about- Sergeant Seth Michael Plant, 30, uh, again, from St. Augustine, Florida, <gasps> on base in Alaska. Bear killed. You would think that they would all have some sort of bear mace at all times, just because at Alaska, like I think it's a problem that you like legitimately have to worry about. You bears, know? like yeah, real bears, not like well, the grizzlies. Bears that, yeah. yeah, not our bears. Like I know they it- have not released what protective gear he may have had with him, including whether they had uh, the uh, commonly available chemical pepper spray used to stop a charging bear. Um, it, but, I, but I don't know if he had body cam footage or what. But oh. they're saying they're saying their part of the announcement was like this guy had no time to react. All he saw was like a flash of brown, and then he was down and done. Yeah, I mean, if you see like some of the videos of people that survived like grizzly bear attacks, um, when they charge at you, it is frighteningly fast. Yeah, they're quick. Yeah. Like yeah. they're they, quick. They're Killing running. Machine. 20 miles an hour like some yeah, like, like a vehicle and then uh, the people are always caught off guard and then like you know they'll do that move like you seen the uh, shouldn't be alive with the bear attack from like uh, like some hunter that the bear was like gnawing on his head and, well you like, try to put your hands up first yeah, right and then uh, it just bites your through your hands uh, into your head but he lived but it like scalped him and like crunched his bones and like he yeah. was fucked up from it but it's like he describes the incident and it is terrifying because it's just like an animal Animal that is so big and strong that there's no chance of fighting it, s- d- just slowly killing you, and you have no like there's no recourse except for hoping that it just gets bored and wanders away. That's it. It's like there's no like poking its you're, eyes. You're outmatched. Like I would rather be attacked by a great white shark than a grizzly bear because I feel like the great white shark. At least I could poke its eyes and it would freak yeah, out. But you're and- still swimming, and swimming's harder than standing. True, but I feel like a bear truly will never be scared away by anything I could do to it, no. right? Like, I couldn't, like, a great white shark, maybe I could jab Can its I throw eyes. another one in there that uh-huh. I dislike is alligator because I don't want to be pulled into the water and then and then you go low and then you start <laughs> spinning me and getting roll. me. Th- I saw roll, a video yeah. on Ari Shafir's uh, yeah, Instagram this morning <laughs> of a alligator biting a dog and pulling it in the water. Oh. And I swear to God, it's, I had to recollect myself this morning. I was like, that is terrifying. There was, was a death it? roll video that was going around the internet like last week. Just said it like a goddamn Gatorland or something. And it is no, sir. terrifying. Was like, it the lady are... at the birthday party? We played that one Maybe, where, she, yeah. where she got in the enclosure and it started spinning her. She was no. re- remarkably calm. Oh, yeah, she <laughs> was, was very crazy. calm. Yeah, she Kinda was like, like that pilot that landed that plane. Or yeah. that, guy, that <laughs> civilian that landed that plane. Yeah, that's yeah. fake. That's uh, fake. <laughs> although with the, with the gator bite, I'm like, that's real. I mean, it's biting her. I can see it. <laughs> um, so uh, I wonder how often, like, what's you, are bear attacks more prevalent than gator attacks? Right, probably in Alaska. I would think so. Yes, like there are more bear attacks in Alaska than alligator attacks in Florida. I huh. think I would agree. Yeah, with that. Well, we just, yeah, yeah. Yes. We don't. Gator attacks are very We're super rare. Super rare. Shark attacks are still super rare because gator attacks are kind of daytime dependent, right? It's either at dusk or or, or dawn. It's going to be at that time of day, or they're not going to fuck with you. Basically, you also have yeah, to be yeah. close to the edge of water. Right. You know, yeah. it's not like you're just flopping around out there and they come poking at you. They like you on ground, so they can like, I'm just going to drag you into this mud and roll you around a little bit. Whereas this guy obviously demonstrates you can just be walking along a trail and be maybe a little too close to Mama Bear's cub. Yeah, right. yeah. And you're done. You may not even know what he did. Yeah, know it, yeah. It, yeah, it's weird because I understand how people are nervous about alligators. Because I'm not nervous about alligators at all from growing up in Florida. No, like, they don't scare we, me. But when I see the attacks, I'm like, holy! F- 
yeah, yeah, it's that crazy. thing can kill. It's crazy, but it's like I'll swim in any body of water. I've done it for yeah, my whole life. Yeah, we canoe next to them, showing them to Maisie. I, yeah, we were letting our kids swim in yeah. Peace River. There was, a, and people were like, "There's a giant twelve foot yeah. alligator." I'm like, "Oh, we can throw a football to it." Yeah, I yeah. Mean, you whatever. see, I'm like, "Oh, look out! It's fine. If it gets near, I'll shoot away." You know, but but when like we go to Colorado or whatever, like we'll go hiking or what you know, in trails, we'll be by ourselves. And because I'm not familiar with grizzly bears, like I do I have a little irrational fear of like a bear charging I out did of the too, woods. When I was like hiking in the mountains. And so I don't I think like, there's any reason I, I think carry it's irrational. Mace, though. Have any of you three seen <laughs> an animal that you had to freeze? Have you ever had an instance where I've only had one and it's a it's a pit bull dog that was gonna bite me? But other than that, I have never been in an instance where I had to freeze because there was some sort of like bear or alligator or snake. rattlesnake. That's, That's a good seen, one. Yeah. That's Every a good one. giant dangerous animal I've ever seen, I've gone towards it to fuck with it. <laughs> 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 I'm, serious. I'm like, oh shit! Look at that! Like, Let's go like sit on this bear. <laughs> I want to take a picture of it or fuck with it in some way because it's amazing. I'm like, oh, anyway. Let's try to catch it. Like well, I've caught gators before. Like uh, exactly what you shouldn't do. Anyway. Uh, no, I'm uh, much more afraid of people in the street. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. I freeze. Well, that's how you die. <laughs> anything in the woods. It's the humans that kill you. Yes. Right. <laughs> what else you what? got? Okay. Uh, okay, Dan, this is for you. Yes. Uh, imagine you're on a flight. Imagine you're on a uh, flight. Oh, no. <laughs> imagine you're about to take off from Israel. You're headed to Turkey. Uh, the captain made a decision to scrap the flight after... I never really understood this, Dan, but you know you know, AirDrop on your iPhone? I do know AirDrop on my iPhone, So yeah. there's a, a 160 people on this plane. Uh, I'm going to say about half of them, right before takeoff, in AirDrop, get sent pictures of an airplane crash. So you're sitting there. You're getting ready to I take off. I would shit my pants if you somebody airdropped me because that's the killer. You're on the <laughs> plane. That's the fucking killer. You're on the plane. You're about to take no, off. Sir. You see you, whatever little notification pops up. Uh, Can you picture, see that? That's picture, goosebumps. Don't picture. they need your uh No. I don't understand how it works either. Dan sometimes, can answer these if you, sometimes if you leave your thing open, like, it, it, like I've had people, I'll be sitting in an auditorium or something. If you have, I guess, the security settings on your iPhone a different way. Uh, trust me, I'm just as dumb old man as anybody else here because it's, it's coming to get me. But there will be times when I'll have, it'll be like, uh, Sophia is trying to send you pictures. And I'm <laughs> like, no, she's not. And I'll just click it out. So, oh, but really? people can still air uh, airdrop you. They can get to you. They, you have to opt in. Yeah, all these pictures were shared by airdrop. Uh, pictures included images of a Turkish Airlines plane which crashed in 2009 and another plane crashed in the United States in 2013. So <laughs> did they? Because I saw some video of I mean, a guy. You can find out who it is. I mean, but oh, like, they can trace it back. I think they can. Yeah. Did you see the video of the guy trying to get off the plane before it took off? Like it already had taxied down the runway. You and know, it, I've always wanted to do that. Like well, I've always thought, out. what if I have a freak out and I have to have him because they won't open the door. No, they wouldn't let him they off. They will not let you off. And and, then, and I'm like, they're gonna kill me on. They're gonna have to. <laughs> they're gonna have to kill me. But because like, I'm gonna have to kill them. Well, right? <laughs> like it's gonna be a fight for life. That's I why I always worried about getting like too drunk and. I don't want to get too drunk. And be like, <laughs> I get too. Well, I, get quiet. I, get, I get out. I would just start crying if I were too drunk. Yeah. I just, you know. But like, if I'm, I don't know. Like, it's so oh. the, in the video. I think, <clears throat> I think the guy like they eventually had to go back, but they pressed charges again, like for interfering with the flight or something. You know, because <clears throat> just being scared is not an excuse for them to like turn around or whatever. No. So I wish it was. He got in trouble, but uh, what? Like, if you were like, "Get me out of here!" Like. I don't think you have any recourse. You just, I think they just say, sir, you bought a ticket. You're on here. Yeah. You knew what you were getting into. We can sit here calmly. We can talk to you. But you're going to have to keep your seat or the air marshals will shoot you with rubber bullets. <laughs> so, or if, they, if you forget enough, they probably have a shot, right? They probably have something in a hypodermic needle they can jam in your shoulder and just put you down for well, 12 hours. Well, got, they, remember they strapped that one guy down with duct tape. Yeah, yeah they, they, they are got not hand, above I think strapping that, you down to a chair. They got handcuffs on there somewhere and stuff like that. Uh, now, that's if you're flying, but I'm, I'm saying if you're still on the ground, right. if they have to turn around and let you back off. I feel like it, they no, should you're gonna be get in a trouble. rule where they're like, all right, this guy's shitting his pants and acting like a fool. <laughs> get the fuck off. And then you like, let him off, let him off. All right, shut the door. All right, we're good. <laughs> I bet if you like try to break a window... They put you right off. No, you, you, have you, you, like, arrest you. Yeah, you pick I, up a car. I think they rubber bullet you. I think that's rubber bullets. 
<laughs> so what what happened with these people? Did they like uh, take they, off and they evacuated the plane? <laughs> oh my god! They searched it. They didn't find shit, and they let them back on the plane. The plane took off. I'm not going on that plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You know. uh, <laughs> you're 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 uh, oh, I don't care how you searched it. This plane has to be decommissioned. This plane is done. This plane can never fly again because there was a chance there was a bomb on it. You morons! Uh, you can't just fucking clean. Oh, I walked down the aisles. No bombs. We're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck <because laughs> that shit. I am. It's the same thing when you. I have been on a flight before when we were getting an engine repaired and they're like oh we're waiting on the part i'm like no thank you no 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 no, no. yeah because i would be like who oh, i'm gonna it. fuck myself up if i keep uh <laughs> like like did you just get the guys to, like the, you know who did it like right. a professional or like some cop that doesn't go like oh god i'm not no. he's like looking around like that's yeah, fine like get a different yeah, yeah. plane because I would, if I was searching it, I'd be like, ah, most likely it's a prank or some sort of mis- misunderstanding. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Do you, you hear know about those flamingos? <laughs> oh, it's crazy. If um, you can track it back to a phone, I don't know why they didn't like. You th- can. This plane should not be usable until you find that fucking phone. I mean, right? unless they don't have like normal technology, but mm. yeah, you should be able to trace it. Is it just like uh, a guy fucking with his buddy? Like I would fuck here's, with Daniel like right before we take off. Like here's a plane crash to look at. I mean, at. here's how I know. They're going to have a record of the photos, right? Like so everybody's got the photos. Those photos have a device ID attached to them from that person's phone. Especially if it's an iPhone. That's how we were able to track things maybe 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. There's a device ID on everybody's iPhone that's completely traceable. Especially yeah. you got to imagine you're using the airport Wi-Fi or cell service. Like right. in a post 9-11 world, like... Where somebody might call from a fucking air airport, you and be just like, go to oh, T-Mobile. You know, make a threat from an airport. You yeah. don't want to be able to track that person down immediately. Yeah, yeah. It's Turkey. Is it Turkey? Uh, well, they were going to Turkey. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. Israel. Oh, Israel. Like, I don't know. This what happened they... in Orlando. Oh, did? Yeah, well, not not this oh. case, Israel but, Orlando. Uh, it says this, <laughs> that it happened uh, last March at OIA after a ten-year-old boy airdropped a threat to several other passengers. Just a bird huh. kid in the fucking. See what yeah, you do. Just fucking around. What you do is you like. I guess what I would do is I would find the most gruesome photo of. Uh, oh, it was a, earlier this year. A sorry. plane exploding, and then I I go to airdrop, and if you like right now, if I go to my airdrop, it'll give you like a list of available devices. Yeah, like a it'll Bluetooth give you a list. Like I'm that. going to my airdrop now. I got a picture of. Let's see, I got a picture of my daughter naked here. And I'm going to go ahead and... Air- no, I'm kidding. And uh, But you just go to AirDrop and then, yes. I just got to tell you, for, for Android users, we have no idea what AirDrop is. So we're all just Googling it in the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, 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 excuse yeah. us. Uh, <laughs> no, excuse us. We didn't know what the hell it was. We're like, what the hell's an AirDrop? It's well, like herpes yeah. for phones. Yeah, that's sorta. terrible. Why would you want that as an option? <laughs> well, it's yeah. a way to tr- you can send files quickly between but devices. But you can't stop it from I, happening to your I phone. Well, well, you have to opt in, right? So oh, you have to opt in, right? Okay. Yeah. So I would put the photo on there. Let's say I have a photo of a plane crash, and then I go I look at all the devices, and I just click them all, and it's up to them to hit OK, and then the file is transferred. I understand how you feel because when Native Americans saw muskets for the first time, they were also confused by the current day technology that. Uh, we have as human beings. What a reference. Yeah. I enjoy Where's it. my buzzer? It comes in tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yeah. Does it I'm say excited. dumb old man on it? Is it, it has custom? Lights and I'm making fun of Android. Does uh, it? D- uh, does yeah, it, we know. <laughs> does it have custom lights and sounds? It says it does. Are we going to wire it into the board? <laughs> what? You got another one, Ross? Oh, I saw a home Jeopardy set up the other day. <laughs> I almost bought like buzzers for Jeopardy. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, they have those. They have family uh, feud. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, we got two, uh, that's new tech, two techs going away, Dan. Uh, Apple, no more iPods. And uh, I don't know, this is probably more interesting to you. Uh, EA Sports is no longer doing a FIFA soccer game. Really? Uh, Wait, well, really? The licensing for FIFA branded uh, football game for them is just too fucking much. No I think, shit. Uh, uh, that's their. I thought that was their big boy. So I FIFA, thought FIFA was their money maker, right? It, it is and it was, but... FIFA wants so fucking much money for that license. It's now. super corrupt. They want too. so much money yeah. for that license. It's not worth it. EA is going to now make uh, starting in twenty twenty three, EA Sports FC, an, uh, an unbranded, <laughs> unlicensed. That's not going to go well. It's the same. It's going to be the same goddamn game, Dan. Yeah, but yeah. people love to have the real players and the real names you're gonna, you're and the n- real logo. You're not going to have any of those. You're yeah. not going to have fly Emirates on the jersey. This None of that gonna, shit. They did this with Tiger Woods. Yeah. The minute they took Tiger Woods out of the golf game. 
They tried to do it with just PGA, and then I think they tried to do it, it was with called Rory. Red, it was called Red, Red, Red Polo Shirt Black Gentleman Golf, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, they did Rory McIlroy, and it just, okay. it's not the same. Rory just, McIlroy Golf? Go yeah, fuck yourself, Rory It's just not the same. It's, it's <laughs> not going to be the same. What about like the horrible reputation FIFA has? Horrible. And, and the fact that maybe there are a uh, contingent of people that uh, will like this because you're just giving money to FIFA, which seems like a horrible... Uh, Federation or whatever the hell they are, like a company, you know what I'm saying? With FIFA, all the FIFA, by the way, has announced they're going to release their own rival game. Oh, really? They're oh, going to take Why their are career- they screwing this up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, so that this is. So, <laughs> should, I like I, this. so I should I buy FIFA 2022 now? Because there's going to be, a, like, next year is going to be shit. That'll be the last one. And then in 2023, you'll have competing. A uh, FIFA non EA game well, and then EA non FIFA game. Competition <laughs> can be good, but yeah. I don't know about this. I, I hope you get the FIFA game. You open it up and like, hold on, there's a note in here that says, "Help me!" <laughs> like, who made this? <laughs> like, like, they're just corrupt as shit, and they have like slave labor and, and like, they're terrible. Everything that they FIFA's do is trash. Like, yeah, this is made in some horrible country that treats all its employees horrible, yeah. and it's uh, to the highest bidder. How many hundreds of people are we up to that have died building the stadiums for Qatar? Yeah. Yeah. And then I it's, mean, it's, oh, it's yeah, just that's gross. Bad. It's that's gross. Bad. And they're, they're just, just gross. Yeah. They just take whatever money, you know, they, that's it's all the they care. It's the only sporting organization that makes the NFL look good. <laughs> You're right. It's I mean, FIFA. You're right. That's the IOC is pretty it. bad, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're all <laughs> corporations, right? Yeah. And what have we learned? So, yeah. yeah. Um, anything wow, else? I didn't know that you just dropped a straight bomb on somebody that loves the FIFA game. I am hurt. So you're probably going to have like a decent game from EA that is going to be just unbranded yeah. with rando n- characters. Their game's good. Names. I love FIFA. It's fun. And then from FIFA, you're going to have straight trash. maybe just an app that takes you to the nearest fo- foosball table or something. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah, because what does FIFA know about designing? Like they're going to get some no. Bobo ass developer. Oh my God. They're going to get like somebody <laughs> that made like a bubble bobble on the <laughs> iPhone. And, and it's going to be corrupt again. So it's not going to yeah, be. Yeah, either yeah gonna pay a lot for it and not get a good product be like this case is made from some sort of uh, feathers <laughs> like, you know, like, what, what is this <laughs> like some shit that is like it's made out of a, some sort of a human their skin here. Yeah, this is human or, skin it's the first triple a side scroller released in like 20 years <laughs> oh, uh, we got a we got a mystery out of australia tom australian police investigating a uh, guy was uh, a diver body washed up okay He's oh, I wearing, love these. He's wearing a rebreather. You know about rebreathers? I've seen rebreathers, like a lot of cave divers use them. And apparently it doesn't bubble, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. So like this guy, he was on a stealth mission. He's, he's a diver. He's got a rebreather. Um, he's been identified as a foreign national. He's not Australian. Also, uh, next to him, uh, it, or nearby, uh, packages of cocaine worth $14 million. Whoa! So the speculation is this guy was like the go-between between between like a boat offshore trying to, you know, bring it into shore with his rebreather, no bubbles, and uh, and he he like ran into a mishap of some sort. No shit. Yeah. Wow, dude. So they were probably like dumping off the cocaine offshore and then this guy- Two small boats were seen in the area overnight. And is he- Is he- like by hand, yeah, 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 swimming this shit. He probably has one of those uh, really cool underwater. I've always wanted one of those. Things, you know, you know, like uh, you know, you said if we started this podcast and made it five years, you'd buy me one of those. I know <laughs> they have they have some cheap ones on sale I on Facebook. I just don't think I think it's. A I scam. want the same one that Johnny Quest had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you remember the, the guy? Yellow. This is a story. Yeah, like it's a, yellow. A year or so ago, the guy had one and he was running for the FBI and he jumped in the lake. And they just got in a boat and followed the bubbles until he had to yeah, come yeah. off. <laughs> That's why you have the rebreather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which I have no idea how it works, by the way. Like, uh, yeah. I'm like, how? There's something where you breathe, you exhale, and it takes that uh, exhale and then somehow filters it. Scrubs the CO2 out. And then- That part I understand. And then gives you- Where does it get more oxygen, though? It it adds pure oxygen to your exhale to make a- So it's got uh, like a little mini tank in there or something? Like a it's, cartridge, I think. It's okay. a huge- It's a big- Big ass square box you okay. put in your back, so it's multiple tanks. It's a weird thing. Like they use them for um, cave diving and or like the military, but the cave diving because you don't want to b- disturb the uh, the roof of the cave and stuff with your bubbles because um, uh, it's well, kind of a pussy ass cave roof. You got 
got. It stays there for too long, and they're all into preserving the environment or whatever. Uh, so they use these important. rebreathers. That's important. But it's Fucking like cave huggers. It's crazy <laughs> that we have that technology because it somehow adds the oxygen to your excelled uh, like breath yeah. to recreate new breathable air for you all in they one backpack. They have all kinds of it's crazy shit. Like Andrea's and granddad, he has a straw that he can just like fall over into a river and put it in there. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I can filter. drink any water I want and live straw. out here. Yeah. I got a bunch of those. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the live straw king and he uses them. He's like, oh, we were out there re-engineering an Indian cemetery and I fell over and I just drank out of a creek until they rescued <laughs> me. He's a tough ass. Um. Anyway, that's uh, like, I guess people are still using crazy ways to smuggle in uh, drugs, right? And like, like, I think you can buy anything on the internet, point, right? It's for fun at this point. I don't know. If this guy had 14 million on him, like, it, and just it's on his person. That's crazy. You, like, there's so many. Uh, like boats. That's I seen, what I'm saying. There's so many other ways to do it. It seemed like the marinas down in Miami or whatever, like, uh, you know, who is checking to see who's coming into there? Like, I don't know. Well, like nothing's I, coming in. That's <laughs> the thing, right? With supply chain and everything else. I bet it's really hard now because so we have such less, you know, things coming and going that I would imagine you'd stick out like a sore thumb, right? Well, if you were doing something truly nefarious, I'm just saying, like a normal, like my boat, I, I, like if I go to St. Augustine, I'll pull into a marina, right? Okay. But like no one's seeing where it came from or whatever. I can load any big giant things, a bags, duffel bags, and stuff. No one would give a shit. Uh, they would just assume that I'm on vacation. But or if you, if you like buzzed over to Columbia and back, that would look weird. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. They, they might <laughs> give you a little the, bit more scrutiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I'm of the intercoastal. Yeah. I don't know, like, uh, I don't know. Um, but there's tons of ways. Like they just, uh, it was not too long ago they found like a mini submarine. These motherfuckers yeah, use, yeah, yeah. and it's like once a month there's a story about like they find like a bunch of tiki torches or like you know tiki statues that were just all made out of cocaine. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. They found that one. Ten got through before that happened. You You're know, right. Like, yeah. and then, we're only seeing yeah. the ones that like there's yeah. millions. Oh, it's coming through all the time. I went and there are tunnels and shit. Right? There's just, just look at the weekend's music output. Yeah, if there was no yeah, cocaine yeah. coming in this country, he would not be putting out albums like this. There, it, the, the mini submarine, and I, yes. I'm a big fan of the mini submarine. And it almost got ruined a couple years ago when that that millionaire took that journalist yeah. down. In his mini submarine, that Norwegian and he guy raped or her, and he like killed her. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that shit's, but that story, I'm still obsessed with that. That shit's bananas. That guy's a real supervillain, right? You talk about commitment to the bit. He sunk that submarine yeah. to fucking hide the body, and then he and pretended like he was like, oh, yeah. help, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, imagine sinking a submarine to get away with murder and not getting away with it. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, <laughs> anything else, Ross? Yeah. Or should we go to break? I got a bunch of news. You want? You want Let's more? Do one more. Let's do, yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. Um. Uh, the University of Michigan is, uh, is recommending you piss on your plants. We'll just talk. Uh, okay. Oh, Maine. Keep that Maine's away. getting rid of their uh, obscene license plate. Oh, oh, we had the first all black team to uh, climb Everest. No uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, th three people didn't make it. I don't know if that was the white guys or what. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kentucky Derby winner not going to Preakness. Bitch ass horse. Uh, oh, the one that won. Interesting. Uh, I heard a lot of uh, gamblers out there talk about that, and people I didn't were very confused that we didn't talk about it on Nerd Jock. And I said I I brought it up that morning, and Tom has no interest in the Derby. No, I. Well, it's not that I have no interest. Is I don't know enough about. He draws it to a line in the it, sand. Um, he hates animal cruelty. I know first. Is I don't it, think that's why. Is it, it was at first? Tom no, only talks about the Derby if one of the horses drive. gets shot. Right. I think that it was the last place, like the farthest odds to win. Which yeah, because he was like a last minute switch. It was right. eighty to one, right? And uh, I think the he actual, wasn't even supposed to be in the damn race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The actual like jockey and stuff. Like it was like so unlikely that this horse and that jockey won the race that it's like insane. Like nobody predicted yeah. it. No one it even wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, uh, I was I couldn't wait to bet against it. Apparently, you know, I've learned a lot since this story. But you, you <laughs> three could, days he's you, learned a lot. Well, I learned because I hear people talking Did about it. Did you know a horse's foot is called a hoof? <laughs> but between your ailments, building uh, trundle beds, how do you have time to learn all this new stuff? I, I, I listen yeah. to gambling podcasts while I build the trundle bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's That's a tr trundling. trundle of knowledge. Anyway, um, I couldn't wait to bet against uh, this horse ever winning again because the public's like, oh, this horse is fast. Yeah. You know, like so. But apparently, he's well, they're not skipping the Preakness, but they're doing the next one. Okay, but that's well, not the against story. Old uh, red strike. Uh, this uh, this guy, South Carolina cops got called. Uh, they they got called to an unresponsive man in a backyard. Right, 
So they go, this guy's had a heart attack and died in his backyard. And uh, so they're like, uh, they're going around trying to inform his next to can and stuff and everybody. Uh, his girlfriend, they can't find his fucking girlfriend when they're looking for her. They find her wallet or her apartment, but they can't find anything else. They're like, you know, we did find that guy next to that big weird hole. <laughs> no. So they go back to the yard, and his girlfriend is dead, wrapped in plastic. Hashtag Twin Peaks in the bag, uh, in a fucking in the hole. He killed her, took her out to the backyard, got her in the hole, had a heart attack trying to cover up. That is instant Ooh. karma. Wow. wow. <laughs> you know, uh, this is a lesson to all old men out there. <laughs> like uh, yeah. digging a hole is hard. It is hard. <laughs> if you have you do it all the time. I know. Yeah. I, every Most time, figuratively. <laughs> and in real life. <laughs> but every time, like, I, you know, you think you're like, oh, I'll dig this grave, right? And thinking yeah. that you still can do it, but it's like you haven't dug a grave in 20 years. And then you go to dig <laughs> How it. How deep do you need to and go? And right? have a heart Six attack. Feet. That, that's industry standard. Right. Yeah. Six, that is a, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. So digging is incredibly hard. It, is <laughs> like hard. It's just, it really is. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like. It's God, hard in good dirt. In yes. good, yeah, soft yeah. dirt, it's harsh. But when you, like, run into a situation where there's a root. Where there's all oh, rock, yeah. that's yeah. fucking. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. the worst. So um, when that happens, is it just case closed? Like, do mm. they even bother investigating if the guy did murder her? Well, you at least walk around in their house and pull other drawers open and stuff, right? And look around. It's obvious by just the, that story, but technically not 100%. Somebody like, else could have killed her and he's just covering it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you don't exactly. Or he came across them burying her. Oh, come on. <laughs> when did we stop? Why did, when did we start investigating everything and just, like, we need to do more of, like, yeah, the guy killed her. We did the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, just push yeah, him yeah, in the like hole and cover it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The murderer killed her, scared him to death, put the shovel in his <laughs> this hands. This is the problem with the world the is that everything, well, I'm that, I can't be satisfied with that answer. <laughs> Give me more. Or it's a setup and someone killed them both no. and they made it look like oh, oh, no. I'm thinking like Sam. Oh, maybe <laughs> she killed him first and then ra- killed herself and wrapped herself in blood. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's we exactly what happened. The Old man killed her and tried to die. <laughs> that's exactly. it. Case that's closed. It. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> when we right. come back, we'll do some dump them out and uh, uh, be on our way. Old man killed her. <laughs> <laughs> If it's what? an old man, he killed her for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of it's usually the husband, yeah. yeah. Always. Let's do this one. The name of the... Unless it's a worker. A lot of times it's a workman and it was in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Just a random... And he was mad that day. And he had <laughs> nothing to do with anything. <laughs> this is uh, Mike Chick. The name of the song is Call Up the Doctor. We'll be right back with more. Uh, what show is this? A mediocre. This doctor. is the a mediocre yeah. one. Okay, yeah. That yeah. show. Do some, uh, you gonna do a little disco dancing? Let me see you do that Lizzo dance. I didn't even see it. We gotta get Tom to do the, the, the Lizzo, Lizzo da- TikTok dance. Yeah, that's a good song. It'll go viral, I'm telling it's you. It's about damn time. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. You don't know it? Come on. He doesn't listen to current music. Oh, welcome back to the show, everybody. Hey, so I got out of uh, doing the, uh, I got out of doing the daddy dance. Well, the last time we talked to you, you wanted to do it. I did want to do it. And then you told me, I'm doing it. I'll yeah, show yeah. you guys. Wait, yeah, so you, are you skipping the Dump em Out theme song? Yeah, no, no, no. <gasps> I was just going to play. I wasn't going to put this in Dump em Out because people get so well, tired of, <laughs> of hearing my kid. Here, check this out. This is just real fast. I want to get it out of the way because then you can clown me. All right. So we talked about this and I want you to tell Mr. Tom and Miss Sam what you told me about daddy dancing. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't want dad to do the daddy dance. There you go. She definitely had a gun held to her. <laughs> there you go. It was in her mouth. It yeah, was yeah, in her mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard these tapes before. Yeah, that was under yeah. duress. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, no, she doesn't want yeah, me yeah. to do the daddy dance. She doesn't want Andrea to do the mommy dance. There's been a. There's Show been, them what you do. Yeah. What is it's not she like she was reading off a of paper. She, no, she does. Dance. She clams up. For whatever reason, she can get on stage in costuming and makeup and dance. Wave and a knife in her face. She gets nervous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you force her to say something she doesn't want to say, and she clams all up. But no, she just doesn't want me to do it. And or isn't that the whole purpose? Is like you is the uh, adults embar- embarrassing the kids? Like that's you know I honestly, a thing. I honestly don't know the purpose of it. 
You know, I would I've, think it would just be to like show support. Yeah, right? I, that's what I thought. Yeah. But I've you, you the mixture of opinions that I've gotten on this. I got a different one from uh, from our buddy from uh, Owen from Ono Radio Show. Owen texted me and it was like, "Hey man, I love you, but fuck the dad dance and fuck the dads that dance it." He's like trying to steal those kids' shine. You what? think that's what it is? That's what he said. He was like, he was like, they always well, get out there. Fun. They always try to one up. They always try to one up these hardworking youth. And they're <laughs> dancing, and they get out there, and they always like try to do better than them and steal all the applause. And I was like, "Damn, I've never really thought of it like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I really haven't thought that of it like that." That is an interesting take. It yeah. is and, it's I, a weird I, take. And then he was like, "I hope that doesn't make you mad." I'm like, "I don't care. It doesn't make me mad." I mean, and then we got to talking about it more. And the first thing Maisie said was to Andrea. She said, "I don't want you doing the daddy dance." And Andrea's like, "Well, he's or doing the mommy dance." And and Andrea's like, "Well, he's doing the daddy dance." And she's like, "I don't want that either." So she doesn't want any of it, like none of it. Yeah, but, yeah. but are you still going to do it? I was going to use it as my out. So then me and Tom win the bet. <laughs> that's fine, whatever. I mean, the bets around here are meaningless. I mean, what else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah what? I'm the only one that's I, ever held up my end of the bargain. That is true. Yeah, you yeah, dressed yeah. like Tom. That was the first TikTok was, video. True. I had my titties out on TikTok. No, you did another one where you dressed fully Oh, that's right. Like I did do that too. Yeah. yeah. You're really yeah, you're right. good at, uh, at not welching. Tom's singing the national anthem, but that was outside. Uh, yeah, I'll hold up my uh, bets. I just don't lose them that often. Hey, I'm really good at betting. Now, um, in my <laughs> non-professional opinion, parents doing shit at the kids' event is all parents interjecting themselves into it. Mm. And so, it, like more like Owens, you don't need any of that. Nobody yeah. needs any of that. You know, what my kid wants to do he wants to play basketball with his friends. Does he want me out there playing horse with them? Fuck. No. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Fuck that's, no. I think that's a good way of looking yeah. at it. Well, you got to embarrass him so they hate you. <laughs> like that, that's the whole point, right? It's like, but you, it, it's amazing the amount of people that want to come hard, like they think that my original intent of doing it was to try and steal shine from May. Which I would never do. It's that's impossible. Because, that's what every other parent is trying to yeah, do. Yeah, I would never do that. Like, it's impossible to do that. That's her thing. But I've never looked at it like that. So I told Owen, I was like, hey, I've never really thought of it like that. Okay. He he said his take was more from working those shows, running the soundboard, and seeing yeah. how kids. those guys, well, no, yeah. seeing how those guys act. Yeah. And I'm like, he's like, that's not you, but I'm just giving you this side. Okay, I see it. I see it. Ma Never thought of that, but I see it. Maybe it's the business, and follow me here. Um, all right, uh, I'll call this classic clear channel, right? So whatever it takes to get someone to do something entertaining for free, they're into, right? right. So the the business of this uh, dance is insane like you have to pay the fees oh, yeah. the costuming the it's, you it's know nuts. you put your money in for the travel the trophies like you know it's thousands of dollars right and then you know the the person that organizes this knows that right so then they're like all right well you know of course Every parent has to sit in the, uh, you know, the crowd and watch the kids perform. They're probably tired of that. Let's get them more invested. Let's uh, get the parents to do something to do something where it's free. Like they're not paying to do it, but it's free entertainment for us to market to the audience of like now there's some dads Does dancing Does the audience there. even want that though? No. I, they'll, I guess Because isn't the well, audience just the parents of the kids that are dancing? Yeah, but the, it's, a, it's a moment of levity that it you're is like, a look at this levity. fat dad dancing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's all they're, they're it, laughing at. Him. I will say that after witnessing it once, I've only witnessed it once, the reaction is good. The reaction is more of a like, ah, oh, this is funny. It's not... Um, yeah, I don't think it's ever well, looked at like, like I never looked at it like a negative thing. I was like, oh, look at these guys doing their thing, you yeah. know. It'd be um, really funny if you went Magic Mike style and started going sexy yes. to the sexy oh, round. Oh, not in front of the kids. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, not too, you know, you're not <laughs> whipping Waggling your dong your dick. No, 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 but I'm just saying like, you know, there's a sexy. Well, no, no, let's not vote that out yet. I mean, let's. I, I'm just saying you went more towards the sexy side of the sausage pizza. <laughs> you're dancing a pony by Genuine. Yeah, yeah, like, right. Wait a minute. You, you can do that some was my first choice. You can do some pelvic thrusting. That well, Macy already really does that now, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dads, it would that I would laugh at that. They're like, yeah. look at him, sexy dad. Let dance. me lick you up and down. Anyway, um, what uh, what else we got? 
Uh, oh, we haven't even done the dump them out. No, 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 I was going to skip. Let's just skip it. Fucking right, skip it. Skipping People it. hate it anyway. Just uh, skip Mexican it. Mother's Day. Yeah, did you guys know when Mexican Mother's Day is? No. This is a joke from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I thought, too, uh, because as I sat at La Fiesta Mexican Restaurant, my daughter's favorite restaurant, <laughs> the guy that put down our chips was like, hey, do you know when Mexican Mother's Day is? <laughs> oh, you're and like, I, oh. And I, and I said that. I was like, oh. <laughs> exactly. <like that. laughs> so I had to put it on the list because no, uh, May 10th is actually Me- Mexican Mother's Day. It's a completely different uh, holiday. It's an Were actual. You serious? Yeah, he was being serious. He wasn't doing a joke. I thought he's doing a joke. Dia and, de las Madres. Yeah, and I did the. Oh, you know, there's, uh, there's, <laughs> everywhere in the world does has a different Mother's, Mother's Day. Yeah. Day on the same day. Really? That, you know that if you listen to my Patreon, I did a whole. That, episode I and went on there and it wasn't what I expected. <laughs> 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 so I. <laughs> He didn't pay. No, so he thought it was a whole. Yeah, well, I got him through a different. Yeah. I got him through my Twain 305 at AOL. Don't give that out, dude. I'm using that for our OnlyFans. Um. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't know that other countries. Yeah. So yeah. all of every country no, has a different mother's not day. Not every country. Some have the same. Some are like for different religious yeah. reasons. Depends on the region. Like I would imagine Does that Canada have the same Mother's Day as us. Uh, I don't question. know because if so. Mexico is different. Then it makes sense that Canada's different. How right? does that make sense? Well, it's on the bottom. You got to be different on the top. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here. Yeah. Uh, it makes okay. too sense. He's right. You don't wear hats on your feet. You don't wear <laughs> shoes on your head. Yeah, that's, like, uh, that's if I was said. Canada, hey, I'd be like, "Well, Mexico's doing it. Let's do it different Sam, than I, fucking I, America." I hate to do this to you, but the hats on the feet thing that Roscoe <laughs> said it checks out. So I'm sorry. It's, it checks out. It's just science. Uh, this is bullshit. I don't want to have to call my mom on a different day if she's the, in fucking the funny Mexico. Thing, she's like, not Mexican. I think you're. Well, but she goes to Mexico. The funny thing is. I live in Florida and I'm conditioned to sit down and when the guy goes, hey, you know when Mexican Mother's Day is? And I'm like, oh, oh goddamn right, I'll do. Like, now, if you are weird. Mexican-American, do you... Do you do both? You get double. Well, <laughs> it's more to do with uh, their like Catholicism and that they actually uh, praise Guadalupe. Are you joking? Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> That's when you yell Guadalupe. No. I thought he was going to go, Guadalupe. <laughs> they worship was about the to... virgin Guadalupe. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that was another joke. Yeah. Um, Guadalupe fiasco. So. Damn it. Uh, um, but why is the, why do they tie religion into it? It's a weird. You See know, now, Guadalupe. Well, I, th- this is I remember this. There was a um, there was like a teen girl in like the sixties or seventies who saw the Virgin Mary appear in Guadalupe, and it became a big deal. Ah, is that like? Does that go in the same category as like a bust of Mary who cries uh, blood tear? There, uh, this may not be a real question, but there's a real answer to this. There are different levels of that, like a and a, like a like I a love like a shit. statue that cries blood or yes. something. That's one level. But the actual virgin, an appearance of the Virgin Mary, like a, a like a ghostly apparition or even like a full blown, you know, a vision body a vision. appearance. Yeah. That's a whole another category because she came to that spot. No and Guadalupe was in the UK. They have Mothering Day, and that takes place on the fourth Sunday of Lent. I mean. Mother- it's different day. everywhere. Mm-hmm. Happy Mothering Day, mother. I get mad at people that believe in superstitious things. Um, mm, so but you hate Stevie Wonder? No, 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 no. But uh-huh. no, I'm He's not, not done yet. Yeah, but uh, because That's I don't true. get mad that they believe it, I get mad that they don't get mad. That the statue. I get mad that they don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a like, double mad. Because you're visiting the statue that cries blood, and you believe it, right? So, but then when you get there, it's not doing it. Because it never does it in Sorry, front of you, Moose right? should have told you. Right, it, right. it did it one time years ago that some like a little girl saw, and it's some like he like hearsay or whatever. Somebody got some hot dog ketchup on his eye. Yeah, they yeah. thought it was blood. The rest is history. So hey, that's a Dairy Girls episode. I'm mad <laughs> that they believe it, and then they aren't mad that it's not currently doing it <laughs> because yeah, I mean, you yeah. went all this way and it's not. And it you want to do, do the thing? Yeah, 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 yeah couldn't yeah, yeah. they at least like, install? Follow me. I'm being serious. For sure. A version, a smaller version that does it. So this is what it looked like. <laughs> and go like, this is what it looked like yeah, when yeah. it did it. I would yeah, take like that. Replica, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would take that. And yeah. I and I would visit. It'd be a better pilgrimage. It's, these people, though, it's not. You're like, you're thinking their belief is like the shallow end of the pool. They're all the way over in the diving well of belief, Tom. Yeah, he's the, right. People will go to this thing where it cried blood in 1976. And they'll be like, that's the one that cried blood in 1976. And they'll touch it. And they'll be like, it's still got magic in it. Yeah, yeah. It's still oh, got oh, the magic in it. Heel. And they're healed. And yeah, yeah. they're good after that. Oh, you know, I saw this uh, morbid story on TikTok uh, that it kind of lends this uh, there. So someone stole. Oh, no. This was- <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
God damn it. <laughs> Someone stole some radioactive material from a hospital yeah. in like Africa or something like that. Uh, or South America, I forgot what Wait it was. Wait a minute, is this another dirty joke? <laughs> 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 I feel like this goes in the same category as Mexican Mother's Day. Guadalupe. <laughs> you hear about they stole some radioactive material from a hospital in Africa. And uh, and then it, it glowed. It was like some sort of chemotherapy treatment or something like that, whatever. And they stole it and they like broke it open. It was in like a goddamn like you know in the thing. Yeah, in the thing. <laughs> but they like hammered it open and they got it out. And then uh, it got its way into this village, right, mm-hmm. where the people were like, "Oh my God, this is like some sort of supernatural he- healing power." Like oh, it glows. This up. is. And then this the is pe- terrible. people were visiting it and then like rubbing it on their face. With the radiation just, on my tongue. Yeah, and that's what I and then it fucking gave a bunch of people radioactive poisoning and shit where like some people died, some people got burned. And you saw this on TikTok? Yeah, did it's they, on TikTok. Did they at least was put guy, imagine like, dragons Mormons. radioactive underneath <laughs> it? <laughs> Did they at least like go in there? Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and then some guy behind a bad green screen was like morbid facts. <laughs> <laughs> what is on your algorithm, man? He's one of those dark shit. It's on morbid there. facts. <laughs> I don't even want. I don't even want to see that. You oh, gotta God. scroll faster. Quit right. watching the whole well, thing. Because and they're gonna send you more. I'm interested. In so then you do want it. That happens a lot though, Tom. We're like, um, because a lot of this medical equipment has you know high grade nuclear powered radiation emitting particles in it. And uh, and they just get recycled to like South America or something, and these guys start tearing it apart. They don't know what the fuck is in there, and the isotopes just end up in the mix of metal, or like somebody takes it home as a lucky charm or something. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. their whole goddamn village just gets you know thyroid cancer for the next twenty years. It's crazy, but you know you also then when they find out, like this is what also uh, bothers me is that when they find out, they are not non-religious anymore. <laughs> Super so, like they should be like, well, why didn't? The gods that I believe in protect me from this radioactive material. They let me rub it on my face. I'm well, you dying. You can make that argument with any religious nah, I person. Know, I know. <laughs> it was like you did it because you were superstitious, and the fact that it killed you didn't make you less superstitious. And that's what I don't know. Oh, um, he has a plan. Mary Curie died of science and didn't make her any less like, science <laughs> less. <laughs> I mean, I, that's I, true. I know. All right, so uh, Daniel, uh, <laughs> are I'm we doing, doing it now? I'm doing the. Uh, well, I mean, so, like I was gonna let you guys keep talking because I didn't think this was gonna be a showstopper, but just so no, people I was just don't bringing it no, in but, so we didn't forget. Yeah, just so well, people don't end. call me a fucking liar. Speaking I'm, of death by radioactivity, I'm doing the Mountain Dilk challenge. Let's end. <laughs> let's end with this. So what? Do you, hold on. What well, are you pouring in? I'm what is pouring. That? This is. I got a full fat milk. This is yeah, T.G. Lee fat. whole hat uh, whole milk vitamin D. I don't know why I said whole half. Um, the this, Mountain Dilk Challenge sounds like something a girl gets paid two thousand dollars to do. I know, right? <laughs> and this is uh, flaming hot Mountain Dew. I did, I've never even seen that before. We found it at Publix. It's all over the place. And then you're supposed to is pour it, it into the milk like that. Mountain Dew is going crazy, like Oreos, where they're just trying all kinds of oh, shit. Oh God, and that looks disgusting. And then you're supposed to drink it. <laughs> is it taste like flaming hot <laughs> Cheetos or like it's supposed to? to yeah, it. you want to try it? I'm gonna drink it. It's got take it's a t- sip. Oh, I want to take a sip of the yeah. Take flaming. a sip of the the flaming hot. Oh, God. Uh, You're going for the whole thing? Oh, my God. I should be videotaping this. Videotaping? How old am I? There's isot- isotopes in there. Because it's not easy. <sighs> How'd it taste? Cream sickle. Oh. Tastes like a cream sickle. Really? That's yeah. what it looked like. Well, let me, let me Not bad at all. Oh, your stomach's going to So I just fuck. proved to everybody that, that I always thought it would. No, taste it. It's not bad. Rodney Bo, I got to give him credit. He's the one that, uh, he's a daring man, and he said... It's just sugar. You're just putting more sugar into your milk. He's like, it's not going to taste bad. And I go, I agree with you. It's not going to be bad at all. It's just, you're just over sugaring your milk, which is just every cereal. And that's when it's uh, fine. That is disturbing. (laughs) 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 Just the actual flaming out Mountain Dew itself. It's it's, fine. That's a unique way to describe a flaming. There you go. Mountain Dew challenge. What does it taste like? I dilked it up. It tastes like a cream sickle. No, what what does it taste like? Lemon lime. There there is a little cream sickle type. Mm. Because it's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet lemon hot. Sweet the, hot lemon. The, we can't. Okay. You can't drink that because he already drank it. But the uh, oh oh it's yeah. happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I hope you start projectile vomiting, and then for me the tetanus. Sets in. No, but you, you know what would happen? Then all of our listeners would come here. They'd make a pilgrimage, and they'd be like, "Rub the flaming hot on me!" Ah, my tetanus. They come here. It'd be a pilgrimage. So why a lot of people did want you to puke in their front yard, which is weird to me. <laughs> 
Like, we, we I mean, like, medium appreciation week. They're like, I wish you would have puked in my front yard. I mean, I'll like, do it what? next yeah. year. But if, if you send us a thousand dollars, I will drive. It. I will drive Daniel to your front yard, and he will vomit. I'll it. do it for less than that. We'll if push him s- out. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm free this weekend, and you pay Palace five hundo, I'll give you half off this weekend. What? Only. I'll come to your house. I'll drink a Mountain Dilk in front of you, and I'll puke on your steps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> five hundo though. You do pig's feet. And you can't jack off in front of me. You gotta do. You can video it. You can jack off later. Yeah, it's gotta be cash on the barrel. <laughs> that wasn't bad. We're not at paying all. taxes on that. So thank you, Rodney, for giving uh, like. Uh, but that's so n- people like even EJ was like the fucking lawyers. What have you done ever, EJ? Nothing. Are the challenges getting easier? Yes. Like you yeah. know, you used we to- hit our peak with ALS. Have ice you guys bucket done challenge. the Sprite challenge yet? What's that? Oh, the chug Where you chug the Sprite and try not to burp? I don't think you can, right? I think it's impossible to do that. It doesn't sound as hard as planking in the middle of a highway. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, because it used to be like the cinnamon challenge. I feel like that one was nearly impossible to gulp down. The, or, the uh, OG is the gallon of milk challenge. Right. Yeah, or the presidential egg? fitness challenge. Wasn't That's there a good one. A hundred uh, hard-boiled egg That challenge? was in uh, uh, Cool Hand Luke. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That's the original challenge, <laughs> yeah, right? That might be like or the gallon milk. What gallon. was the that first? Was a jackass. I don't think I ever heard the egg one. What was the yeah, first cool challenge? Hand. I think it was cool. Hand but like the first, like, well, well, let's narrow it down. First uh, social media challenge. I would say the first one that I knew of was ice bucket for like charity. Right. I I think the first challenge was can we dunk you in the river in the cage and if you survive you're, you're not a witch. witch. Right, yeah. right. Or no, you if you survive you are a witch. If you die then yeah. we well, you know, at least you're going to heaven or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what their justification was. <laughs> like once they killed the little teen that they thought was a witch like, did they feel bad? They're like, oh, she wasn't a no, witch. No, they never felt bad. Or did they feel good that they so, didn't have a witch? everybody knows you're not a witch. Don't you feel better about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got, I got an article. Dead. A social media contest. a timeline of viral challenges. Nice work. What was the... the uh, this says cinnamon challenge was 2013. The peak was 2013. Okay. With cinnamon. The cinnamon was cinnamon the peak? challenge. Okay. Well, that's hit. when it the peak. Yeah. It you got it. Time. I think that's when we had Glozelity. <laughs> Remember her? Oh like God. the yeah. Harlem Shake, also 2013. We did that. We've done a lot of these. <laughs> Boy, do we planking, <laughs> also 2013. Caesar. 2013 was a. What about owling? Caesar was oh, in yeah, original. Owling. Owling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. owling. Let's bring them all back <laughs> and do retro. The ice bucket challenge was the summer of 2014. Um, and that one you got guilted into. You know what? When Phil Rollins was here with Orlando City, he still owned the team, and he didn't do weird things that I guess he did. Whatever. Uh, and he what? He linked <laughs> us on Facebook and was like, uh, "Do the uh, Tom and Dad oh, do yeah. the ice bucket challenge, mate?" Right. And then we're all. I'm like, I remember looking at him like, "Fuck." <laughs> because it's attached to like a, some sort of a disease or yeah, something. Yeah, if I don't, don't do yeah. it, and you know what? I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me neither. And people have challenged I, me <laughs> for charity all that. I, I pretend like I don't see it. I saw it. You're the bad I see no, all. no, he taught me that. I he's see like, them all. He's like, just pretend you didn't see it. I was like, yeah, yeah. He's a genius. We yeah. got the Kylie Jenner lips challenge in 2015. What Which is, is that? where you... You have to run up and touch Kylie Jenner's lips and not, <laughs> <laughs> not get bit. You put a shot glass over your mouth, suck in the air, and then release... Which will give your lips a lip plumping effect. Oh, that thing where you're a kid and you put a coffee yeah. cup around your mouth and make a big red <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I did that for one full week. <laughs> one full will week. Will it make your lips plump? Yeah. It'll I don't give know. Them a you tell me. <laughs> it essentially gives you a hickey. Okay. Yeah, you plump them up and then you go play a guitar with your rose beef <laughs> lips. <laughs> like on TikTok. That's for Monday. All the oh. goddamn TikTok. I, I fucking hate TikTok. I've never heard of this one. Um, the pencil game slash Charlie Charlie oh, challenge. I've played the pencil game before. Which peaked in May of 2015. It's lying one pencil across the other on top of a piece of paper with yes or no in every corner. People would ask Charlie Charlie to answer the questions as the pencil would mysteriously move. Charlie Charlie. I've never Charlie heard that Charlie. one. <laughs> People are so I, stupid I in this world. One. The world is stupid. <laughs> Fuck you, 2015. 2015 had wor- the worst ones. Don't judge challenge where people made video transformations of themselves starting with looking as ugly as possible <laughs> to <laughs> ending as attractive as possible and played against musical backgrounds. Yeah. See, this all predates the internet, though. I remember like, remember when we were kids, it was like you can't eat a cracker and whistle at the same time. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You can't eat yeah. three crackers. You can't eat like... A sleeve of crackers and ten did, uh, I remember a cracker related yeah, one. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. We did. You can't the run down the beach with a grape in your ass cheeks, and if you <laughs> if it falls out, you have to eat it. 
That was the original <laughs> we, butt grape. Yeah, we did the <laughs> butt grape challenge. Well, remember the jackass? I think this was in uh, uh, CKY where, you, like, there was a like some urban legend. You can't take a shit w- while running full speed. Have you heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> and then he, my dad used to warn me. About that. <laughs> like, who says that? <laughs> and then ra- son, <laughs> and then Rab himself. <laughs> you remember him? I remember yeah. Rab himself. Yeah. He, he, he did, was in the new one, I think. He did it. Uh, he ran full speed and shit. He's an old ass <laughs> man. Still has the goatee. Yeah, <laughs> There was oh, a running, Rab. there was a running Rab. Rab challenge. That was when uh, uh, Stephen Cheerio Hawking challenge. Stephen Hawking was still alive, and he saw it, and he was like, "Everything I knew was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I knew was a lie." So so, really stupid. So we don't remember any of the like uh, challenges between 2015 and uh, like really after that's, that. That's when people started like complaining about what a bad year it was. That was like, yeah. what a bad oh, year yeah. we just oh, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We show died, and a mean thing happened. <laughs> I can't mean. wait for next year. And right. then, I hate pre-corona times. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah, it's way better yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's There's nothing, whiny bitches. <laughs> I like it now. I know where I stand now. I got my Mountain <laughs> Dilt. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican Mother's Day was good. Gangnam uh, Style. Oh, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> what happened to that guy? Flash mobs. What happened to flash mobs? The milk oh, we thing. Do one. <laughs> I always thought the it would, mannequin challenge. The I always thought it would be interesting to watch the Ku Klux Klan do a flash mob. <laughs> oh my god! I'd be like, oh my god! I don't know if it died out with You're COVID. Like, they like fought a little bit. <laughs> but once a year, I'd go pick up one of my kids from high school, and there would be like at the little park by the high school, there would just be like. 50 kids all huddle up against one of those uh, little pavilions that homeless guys sleep in. Uh-huh. And like once a year at my kid's school, they would all get together and try to do the milk gallon challenge like in the park and yeah. just all puke all over the park. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You can't fucking do it. Oh, uh, well, let's end with this because um, this is another crazy wife story. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like hey, I feel like we need her on next week to defend herself. Yeah, right it's here. only fair. Thanks. It's only fair. So she is making Max and Tommy hand out invitations to the end of the year party that she's throwing at a park. For all the kids uh, at the score, is why class, is she doing? Is this the a most? charity event? Like, uh, no, 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 she's trying to teacher. shame the other moms and no, be best mom. She, is this a teacher request? Right. No, 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 no. This is to this, be king mom, yeah, or queen mom. I don't know what it's for, but it's I've, for clout. Dude. I've got <sighs> dragged into it. She's renting it's for mom clout. A snow cone food truck. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Oh, Kona, I know that one. <laughs> it goes Kona. to my neighborhood. Yeah, right. Maisie gets in a dance. Yeah. And she rented it for an hour. It's expensive to give free snow cones to all the kids. Free. Yeah. Yeah. Not even just there will be a lot of kids here coming. No, right. come on down. Wow. We've got activities for the kids, yeah. like learn how to build your own trundle bed. <laughs> this hey, is shoot me the time. Free and, stuff, huh? and by the way, Tommy refuses to hand out the invitations. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> even he Good was for like, him. What? because uh, Crystal's like, they're still in your bag. Did you hand them out? He's like, no. What is you? Max handed them out, uh, but Tommy like you know, didn't want to hand them out. He anyway, him I hope he who does, does this? I hope he does what who? really fucked up letter carriers do, and he just dumps. <laughs> them all into a dumpster who have Throw you ever Woody heard Bear, of yeah. any of this end of the year party the last day of school hell no the, the one that I hate, okay here's the one that i hate i hate the one where it's like mom's last day of school sitting in their front yard with a wine glass that's as big as like a, a bucket and they're like ah, oh. <laughs> or, or like or no yeah. first day of school or first day yeah, of school yeah, yeah. i yes. hate all that i just hate all of that <laughs> john right. guess, leader of one and i guess you put that in the same category of making it about you oh, yeah. just like the dance sure. dads Absolutely. right so i, I can kind of well, maybe i learned from this I, show also you I, hate your kids <laughs> yeah, if you're and like I don't that hate, happy about your kids going to school. Yeah, you I don't hate, hate Maisie. And I and enjoy it's spending the, time. It's always her. the people that say how much their kids are their lives that do that kind of shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm not. It's into like that. clearly you you don't like being around your children. You're celebrating their leaving. Also, <laughs> this is gonna sound fucked up, but with dance, I don't get an. I complain to you about it. I don't get enough time with May. You know what I mean? Like she's so dedicated to this shit. I don't get enough time with her. Um. Anyway, it's uh. No, and I, I know she's doing Tracy it. Tracy Claus in the chat says that she goes to the bus stop and sprays the kids with silly string and water guns on the last day. No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That, that's, Bully them. Well, that's well, kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, it's better than. Is it the? It's just there to the whole class or the whole school or? Well, no, you, you invited both classes, full classes, the whole full classes. And it, I like, think it's a good thing she's doing. I don't want to shit kids? on something no. good. It's a good thing. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I know. It's like she's only being for the kids, though. A nice person. No, I'm gonna swing. Like, not by for her, any of know. the parents. I'm swinging by and getting a snow cone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess anybody Free fucking snow cone. Yeah, yeah. Like you, Ross. I'll pick she, you up. <laughs> she rented it for like it's dressed like kids. Yeah, but now the now the kids are gonna buy. 
bother their parents who Ooh. don't want to have to fucking drag their kid to some party on the last day of school. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a pain yeah. in the ass now to I other parents. Now I do hate it when Maisie yeah. goes. It's a pain in the ass to me because yeah. I gotta go. I know. No, Maisie will go, Jonathan, uh, Dad, said we could swing by and get uh, just a piece of cake and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm yeah. like, oh, damn it, where's the map? I don't know so where it is. So she's trying where's to be address? king, uh, queen mom but she's actually pissing off all the other parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, I guess the kids like it. Uh, but do Tommy they? clearly doesn't. <laughs> Tommy hates it. What is happening? What happened to the days of not caring about, like what well, your kids did? You didn't have time to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just said like, you're at the coal mine and you go home. You're tired. I don't know how you're the vans drunk. have time to do it. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're literally <laughs> killing themselves for this. I hope for you what? show up. For nothing. They don't even want it. They just want to play video games. That's not all for nothing. Anyway. I hope you show up late, go to the ROM pavilion, and sit next to a woman who looks like your wife for like half yes. an hour. <laughs> Where the fuck are the snow cones? <laughs> There's no snow cones here. Well, there is a roast compolio. Uh, all right. Uh, Sam, you doing a semantics uh, this week? Sammy, weekend? are you? <laughs> what the fuck? Sammy, I'm talking to Tata Tai. Hmm? Yeah, actually, we're recording one tonight with uh, Chris Rock from Rock Pit Brewing. Oh, I thought you were going to get the scoop on the whole uh, getting slapped <laughs> yeah, deal. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to get the scoop. And uh, also Trey Sywick from Getting Grub. You know, be on the show tonight. So that's how you say his last name. I've never known yeah. how to say that. And I think I've said it wrong for 10 years. Well, I always ask people how to pronounce their names. Mm, write that down. Ross, uh, Tots with Ross, of course. Uh, your podcast, everybody can listen to on all platforms. Go search for the Orlando uh, talk show in any podcast form. You can see me at the Bull Bush Wednesdays, of course. Every Wednesday at 9 and first and third Saturday at 9. And uh, uh, me and Dan were just talking about June 4th at the Bull and Bush, 9 p.m. We're doing the 10-year anniversary show. It's going to be a real big show. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of great comedians. We're going to get 10 of the best Orlando comics doing 10 minutes each. There's so many good comics. I'm only going to tell you about one. Big Tim Murphy. All right. Coming out go. of, as far as I know, retirement to do yeah. a set at the Bull and Bush on June 4th. Hey, leaner, meaner. Is he? Yeah, I think everybody's kind of tightened up. Yeah, okay. I think he's. I think he's lost some weight. I haven't so. seen him in quite some time. Yeah, I mean, he, I, I did one time. I rode my scooter to Sanford during an air show, and we met up yeah. for that. And he had already lost some weight then, but I haven't seen him in like I guess a year. I yeah, him, I, saw I saw him, him at the him. West End. He was yeah, working. He, yeah, I saw him bouncing at the West End. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, BDMs. We appreciate everything. Um, nice. And uh, check out our watering holes because uh, that really helps us out. If you at least go by and tell them Tom and Dan sent you. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre.